I see <clears throat> I see you in there. I see, I see you in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna add you in, I'm gonna add you in. Uh but yeah, so it worked. <laughs> It's working, so I'm gonna bring you all in. So Mason Goody's not on right now, as you see, it's uh, empty right here, but he is on. I see him backstage, backstage. Uh, so hey, there was no introduction needed. Of course, this band is very, very talented and comes from very, very much talented peoples. Uh, so let's just go ahead and just bring them in here, bro. What is up? Let's see. Let's bring it in. Where's my Where's my switch? Where's my switch at? Here we go. Yes, push. You in here? Are you in? Oh no. Can anybody hear him? What about now? Oh, I can hear you. Yeah, it's just <clears throat> it, it, it's telling me that my host disabled and then enabled and then disabled it. It's it's being the but on the bright side. We in. Now. We in. We in. That's all that matters. We in. Everybody, welcome in. We are building today Mason Gooding's black and gold custom aesthetic PC. Uh, it's all going into Fractal North. You already checked out. Uh, you already checked out the Fractal North that I built for Dylan, right? No. Was it Cole that got it? Built for Cole, I think so. Yeah, right. Yeah. He shows it off every time I go to his house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Dylan got the Dylan got the Y the Y forty. But yes, right. the wood in front. Nice. Yeah, no, yeah, the Y forty looks nice. I like the angle. You know, it's a nice sharp angle with a nice little basement bottom. Yeah. It's a it's a sharp it's looking build. Y'all, it's only a good pair. It only looks great. I don't know if you guys do anything less than that. Okay. No, I don't. I refuse. A downright right. refuse. But yes, as you can see, this is a very talented young man right here. Uh, I love this. I love it. As soon as I saw this game, I was like, this is what I'm using. This is the one I'm using. That's the one. That's the bird. Oh, dude, that's all my emotions right there. Just summed up all in one little gift. You feel that? Uh, it's perfect. It was directed on the day at one Jasmine's boy, Brown, who I would never flip off in real life. <laughs> that's, that's why it's acting, bro. That's why it's acting. That's right, exactly. That's, I'm an actor, dude. This is performing. It's all performing. But y'all, oh, yes, we're going to be building this PC. Please check out the specs that are right here before I even begin. I'm going to disinfect my area. I always disinfect because I don't like germs. Yeah, so I was, it's funny. Um, it wasn't until we had our meeting and you were going to show us all this stuff that I realized when I built my PC, I was so far out of my depth uh, that a lot of the technical difficulties I suffer from is probably just from bad installation. So this, this time, I feel like I'm putting my best foot forward. This feels much better. Honestly. Yeah, when it comes to PC building, man, it's all about knowing what works with what and why. And the why is the main thing because you can, you can get something that's super crazy. Like, for instance, what I always try to mention is a CPU, I think of it as the brain. And the GPU, which is what you use for gaming, is your muscle. If you get the craziest GPU you can get, but you get a mere small minor cpu like an i3 or something you're not going to utilize it properly so that that all that got all that muscle no brain i3 yeah we can't have that it's got to be uh it's got to be both no, it's got to be both of them damn you slammed that on the table bro that's how i feel about germs that's how i feel about them they're getting out of here So we're pretty excited. So probably this build will probably take, I don't know, maybe, like I said, like three, maybe four hours, depending. And a lot of the time will probably just be me uh, messing around with cables. So I definitely like to hold you on as long as possible. But if you are busy later on, no worries, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Well, no worries. I got to take a, a Krav Maga lesson, which uh, technically I could be doing right in here while we're going. I could just be flowing in the corner, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. <laughs> we'll flow a little later. That's right, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep it going. Just keep the intensity up. 
What time is it over there? It's like 11, right? Uh, a little later now. It's, it's noon. It's 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. So I'm already halfway through my day, and I'm, I'm now realizing how unproductive I've been up until now. But that's okay. Oh, dude, it's always it's always then. When it hits like that, that 11.30 to 1, and you're like, oh, oh it's days over. Time to go to sleep? That's right. Yeah, basically. You're like, I might as well go back to bed. Just go to sleep. It's over. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now it's getting dark like 4.30. So fast. Yeah. And it's cool. annoying. Well, where, whereabouts are you, by the way? I haven't even... We're in uh, Plano, Texas, which basically Dallas is the whole DFW area. It's, I mean, it gets randomly cold. So, like, right now, it's, like, 50s, 60s, which is whatever, right? That's that's cool. And then, randomly, out of nowhere, in, like, a month, it's going to, like, just ice. Like, not snow, ice. Wow. Just oh, straight so up crazy. ice. That's crazy. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's extremely random. You're not really uh, ready for it. But I remember last year, I was moving. No, this year, yeah. Earlier this year, I was moving around in February, and we had an ice storm. So, like... Two inches of solid ice covered the entire road. No snow, just straight ice. It was an ice skating rink out there, dude. Really sa uh, saving the uh, driving conditions there, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, great, yeah. And you know, everybody here has got the best tires for that, so uh, I feel safe out right. there with everybody's Tahoes sure. and Escalades and stuff. F650s. Exactly, F650s. Is that, <laughs> is that the norm? Dude, everybody here has got a big vehicle, man. No one has anything small. I drive a little Honda Civic from 1991. Very small car, made in Japan when everything was tiny. And then now, uh, I come here and I can just, like, look up at people's tires. So, mm. it's a little sus. But that's okay. That means you can, you can maneuver much better. Oh, dude, like Fast and the Fears. I can go right underneath that truck, you know what I'm saying? Go to my exit. Oh, yo, you drift on them? <laughs> well, let's go through the specs, bro. Let's go ahead. Go through the spec -aroonies. right here. Here it is. So speaking of brain, we are using an Intel 13700K for your storage. This is a two terabyte 990 Pro from Samsung. It is a Gen 4 NVMe. And for memory, here is a 32 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance DDR5 memory. This is non-RGB. That's why they didn't even go fancy on the packaging. This is the exact same kit I have in my build. The okay. exact same. Yeah. My personal build, I did not go crazy with RGB uh, since it was a small minimalist. I love nice minimalist aesthetic, which is why I'm pretty excited to build another Nefractal North. Um, so I, I love this ring. Nice and clean. For the motherboard, I'm using the MSI Mag Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi board. This motherboard here has built-in Wi-Fi, so you get built-in Bluetooth. Obviously, Ethernet is king. That's where you get the most bandwidth. You get the most speed. But you got uh, built-in Bluetooth. So you have any built-in uh, Bluetooth headphones or controllers, you can hook them up straight up Bluetooth on this uh, motherboard here. Wow, give me options. I like that. I like For the AIO, we are using the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2, 240 mil rad. It is not the uh, most flashy, but it is the high, highest rated. Highest rated here. For power supply, I am using the MSI Meg AI 1000 watt. PCIe 5 ATX 3.0 power supply. I like to put a bunch of numbers on there. Basically, it does have this 12 pin connector for all the new NVIDIA cards out there. So if later on you do upgrade, you already have a power supply that can handle it and the cable for it as well. So it'll just literally be bloop, bloop, you're done. Now, to match the case, we do have six Noctua NF-A12 by 25 Chromax <clears throat> fans here, ready to go. So I do have to build these fans. You can change the corners on them. So I'll probably ask you what color you want. We can go pretty wonky on them if you want. Uh, and of course, to finish off the show, we do have the ASUS Pro R RTX 4070 Ti, one of the fanciest, nicest looking GPUs hey, out hey. there. Very nice. Very this thing nice is, is, is basically a nice uh, black with gold accent. Wow. So it looks super clean. It's black not angle? RGB, but it's clean. It is super clean, and that's pretty much it. It's all going, of course, like I said, in the Fractal North. It's a nice little can wood front. Ask dumb, can I ask a dumb question? Go for it, man. Never dumb. Go ahead. Well, wait till I ask it, because you might change <laughs> your mind. But 
the amount of fans in a PC uh-huh. is meant to, does that actually affect the processing capabilities or is it just meant to make sure the computer ma- maintains like a certain temperature with like so when it comes to let's say like the CPU and the GPU obviously there's little processes going on in those chips um, more things going on they develop heat so smarter thing gets especially now with GPUs getting bigger and bigger they just basically they're just generating a lot of heat that is obviously the downside of using electricity for things um, so having more fans you are moving air more uh, frequently so that way you are replacing the air that's in here getting heated up by these components so obviously having higher end parts you need more cooling so with these fans here why they're perf- high performance fans is for the speed they run at and the sound they make they push a lot of air um, you can get cheaper fans that can definitely move around the same amount of air but they'll be stupid loud stupid loud right. and yeah so it'll just be annoying yeah otherwise it sound like a jet engine taking off. It, yeah exactly exactly yeah so with these fans are high performance because they run smoothly and they push a lot of air so basically your these fans jobs is to replace the air inside that's being heated up by the components and replace it with fresh air from the outside which is why you always want your front fans here to be blowing air in top and rear blowing air out just having that constant motion just kicking that hot air out of there bro yeah yeah that's get one thing get get it out of there that's one thing i always uh i always kind of get uh miffed when i see like people's builds online try not to but it's hard uh but i've, I've seen pcs where people did all exhaust fans which means no air is coming in it's just trying to kick it out so there's just a vacuum going in there and things are just getting hot and people are wondering why uh, my PC is so hot. Say, I probably heat it up very quickly. Yeah. Oh yeah, very quickly. Very quickly. I, I know some of these words. I'm following along. You're very, you're very, you make it very palatable for people that maybe don't know much about computers. For sure, for sure. Like you can get into the specifics of hardware and that could take, you know, that could take a while to learn. But the fundamentals of how a PC works isn't very hard and how to build one isn't that difficult. It's just, like I said, you just need to know what works with what and why? You say you say that. Can I ask you the fastest time building a computer for you? How much for a, or building a, a rig? What what would you say? And then I'll tell you how long it took me to build mine. How long it takes me? The fastest you've ever done. Oh, the fastest I've ever done for like a normal PC. Let's say not even with an AIO, just regular air cooler, a GPU, cables like extension cables and stuff can take me like an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, another more complex build, like uh, with an AIO, cables and stuff with controllers, I can I can do them in like under two hours. I but I've built systems on here. You could definitely ask anybody on the chat uh, where it took me like five hours to build. Wow. Okay, it, but that's like a lot of there's a lot of moving parts and complicated pieces. It's there. it's what it is it is the RGB. So every so let's say in a case you have uh, um an AIO, which is the cooler, from one company. You have fans from another company. Uh, that same company that made those fans also make these other RGB shenanigans they also want to use, which also uses another controller. So that's like four different controllers I have to use, which then I run on a USB port on the motherboard, so then I have to put a controller for more USB ports. And then not on, on top of all that, I want to make sure that it looks good in the back. So it just has to do a lot of planning and cable managing, and this goes in there, and that's where a lot of time gets taken. But for builds that I already know how to build and I know where I want to put them, I mean, it's, I already got the blueprint. Okay, so I, obviously the PC I'm working with is nowhere near as complicated or intricate as the one you're describing. Uh, uh, you said five hours for an incredibly complex build. Super run of the mill for me took me an embarrassing nine and a half hours to actually get. Uh, <laughs> so it was in a couple days? Yeah, a couple no, no, I did, no, once I started, I was like, if I stop, this is never getting done. And the <laughs> sun went down. I was with my roommate, Brandel, and we were, we were, we were sweating it out. But here we are. It's okay. After it was, it's jamming. Here, yeah. There, I tell it, I tell it to people all the time. Like, yeah, you see me build a PC in like two hours, three hours, just messing around. But that's someone that already know all the hardware that's coming in and a case that I've already built with like 600 times. So it's okay if your first build takes you like six hours. I mean, my very, very first build that I did in 2015 for a gaming PC, I mean, it took me, it took me seven hours, I think. 
And that was, that was mainly because of, of like just checks and balances, making sure I was doing it right. Because everybody gets nervous when they build their first PC. Hello. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's your first time touching. You don't want to mess anything up. So exactly. I mean, it, took, it took me a while. It took me a while to build my very first one. And then after that, I was building all my friends' PCs uh, relatively quickly. I was going to say, you got employed thereafter. They were like, just please help me out. Please. I am, um, really quick, I am seeing in your chat that apparently I'm very quiet, which is something I've never heard, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. If they always tell you, yeah, no, uh, on me? Here, I can bring you up. I, how's this? How's, how's it? Yeah, now I can, now you're, now I'm really in your ear. Oh my, how are you? Or is that this much better? Much better. Good. Okay, there you go. There you go, Prince. There we go. Dude, you can't have a co-op stream without audio and video issues. It's just not a thing. Yeah, no, this is this is this is part of the process. But now that we're, I feel like we, I feel like we're cruising here. That's all it took. That's all it took. Now we're gonna put in the motherboard. I'll start off with the RAM, which is memory. That's right. Thank you. How I like to explain RAM is like a file cabinet. CPU is constantly checking in there, how fast it checks in there for stuff. But then your storage is your safe. These are stuff that gets kept in there. Gets locked away whenever it needs to access it. And what determines how fast, in line with that analogy, uh, the computer can dig through those files? Like, is that just based on processing power? Or? No, so it's on the RAM itself. So on the RAM, there is a speed. Uh, so like this one is 6,000 megahertz. And then you also have timings on top of that which is how often it's checking in. Okay. Okay. Following. Open. I love the flat black of the stick. Yeah. It's like a matte Ooh, black. Like, it's just yeah. super clean. Yeah, man. Oh, snaps that teeth pain. pain. You hear that? Hear that? It should be coming through. Oh, I'm like, oh, listen to your voice, dude. Listen to you. Just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, my teeth pain command. When the party starts. No, it's, uh, it's exactly what the party starts. I think it's just tied to the mind and me. Who set up the part? Was that Martinez? Martinez went up! Martinez is from the Netherlands. I'm so jealous. One thing I, uh, like I, I was mentioning um, the other day when we were talking, how I always get to learn stuff from everybody, doesn't matter who or what or why. Uh, one of the things I learned from Martinez was over there for designated driver, they call him Bob. So if wow. you're going, yeah, so if you're going out wasted, you got to go get yourself a Bob, bro. You can't get be driving out there. Is that an acronym, or is that just was there one guy named Bob that maybe was? And then that was yeah, that, that was it. Just a prolific, prolific guy named Bob. Honestly, bless Bob. I don't know a bad Bob. Not a single My one. screw. Bob liked the hairstyle. Cameron and Lou, what up? Exactly. Welcome in. Martina said, Lou is the best PC builder in the world. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on. Take accolades. Because it's true. It's, 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 it's too much. It's too much. So I got to ask. You know I got to ask. What we play on this PC, bro? What you playing? What am I? Uh, I mean, uh, I, I, love a, I love a horror game. So okay. I, I mean that time. that's fitting. Okay, yeah, that's that's fitting. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just trying to. It's research for work, you know. I'd, yeah, yeah. Um, 
as of late, I've been playing a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That game was great. Okay, okay. Um, I have been playing Dead by Daylight for a while. Um, beyond that, I, I think the, 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 the ones you would expect, I play Fortnite with my friends now yeah. as of late because they brought back the 2018 maps, which make me very happy. Um, and then beyond that, I, I'm a big like retro gamer. So mm -hmm. like a lot of stuff I played when I was younger, this is me. This is me like, uh, basically putting my Elgato to use or the capture card, but I'll play like, um, at the, the switch is like a big one for me. So I'll like connect the two and play uh, animal crossing or, um, Wow, that was not the first Switch game that should have came to my head. You know, uh, <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to go back to Animal Crossing. That's number one. Please. Number one's Animal Crossing. Uh, I love Sonic, which uh, they just added, or I don't know if they just added, but I just found they have one of my favorite childhood games. I don't know if you played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. The, 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 the one, I, I played it on the GameCube, but it's on Steam uh -huh. now. Uh, and and I've never seen it look so good on a on a uh, better platform than the the GameCube, the eleven year old GameCube I have in my room. So. Dude, GameCube right. was ripping, man. When I had a GameCube, I played Tony Hawk American Wasteland. I yeah. played Super Mario Sunshine, which is still my favorite Mario game ever made. I played I Blood Rain, which is weird. Blood Rain, that uh, old vampire Nazi, uh, very very gory game. Great. And uh, Resident Evil 4, I played on GameCube. Resident Evil 4. I never got the pleasure to play it on like its original platform, but I've played the remake. Yeah. I love it very much. I love it very that, much. One of my that's the only games. like Resident Evil game I've thought about like actually playing again. Really? Oh, well, now's a good time. The remake's quite good. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. Definitely good address this. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, is Dead Space, which is basically oh. just Resident Evil. Right? Yes, One dude, Dead Space friends. on the PS3. Yeah, man. Yeah, and you'd get the PlayStation skin, the black and purple one. Yeah. Yeah. I no. That, that, I don't know if my mom is watching the stream, but I um, I had my friend's mom buy it for me because I wasn't allowed to play like violent video games as a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, set an alarm and wake up at 2 a.m. and play it without her knowing <laughs> even though i'm sure she does know she just hasn't like brought it up to me but you wasn't obnoxious with it so you got passed you know what i'm saying i think i think a lot yeah, of parents yeah. know like they know when their kids are doing something but like since it's not over the top they're like you know what i'll let it pass because it's okay they're not obnoxious that's right. you know what i'm saying that's a good point. like oh, we absolutely. we've all walked up our parents walked by our parents a little drunk and like you know what i don't think they caught me they caught me they knew they knew. They, they knew. Exactly. They knew. It was just like, you know what? It's not even worth my time right now talking about it. Just a one-off right. thing. There's, that's right. That's right. Let's bring out the cooler. But yeah, not do Dead Space, man. I remember the in, I remember the, just the main menu of that game coming in, seeing the broken up space station and just like that eerie music. And I'm not, yeah, I'm, dude, man. I am afraid of like spooky games. They, they get me. You know what I mean? Really? Like, because you're in it. Yeah, because you're... Yeah, a movie, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's not me. I'm not that. But in a video game, you're the dude opening that door. You're the dude walking in That's that right. hallway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. It, it, the level of immersion definitely suit, like exceeds that that a film can achieve. But I so, love that. I love the emotion of fear. Like, I feel like that's a very entertaining aspect for me. Uh -huh. Which is why I always go back to like original classic Dead Space. Yeah. Uh, I play a lot of Silent Hill. Was my favorite Silent Hill too? Yeah. Good. I recommend it if you if you're if you've outgrown being uh, not a fan of horror. It really is a wretched time in the best way. Maybe maybe I'm just like oh, dude. I just pop out scares is eerie. But I love I what got me engaged in the Dead Space was like it wasn't really a pop out game, but it always made you feel like something's about to get you. That's right. Like where the audio always heard like a pipe falling from a distance. Or like you heard like stuff oh, yeah. crawling, but it wasn't near you, but you knew it was around. Yeah. That's terrifying. The audio design of the game is like next level. Truly. Um, a 
Although you mentioned Cole, I'm like, do you play? What, what do you play? Do you, have you played Baldur's Gate three and and um, Diablo four? Have you played those types of games? Diablo, I didn't. Um, Baldur's Gate, they've been trying to get me on that for a while. My roommate plays that a lot. Yeah, and he's saying it's, I notice it's, people who like it are like, oh, they're in it. Like they're in it, in it. You know what I mean? You don't just play that for like 20 minutes a day. You play that for like three hours. And then the next day, which you up to like nice. 2 a.m. If, if you're trying to escape from reality, which some people clearly are, and that, that, that <laughs> scratches that it. <laughs> just, just called out every video gamer trying to escape. That's right. That's right. But uh, Bowls get a haven't. Have you, you been getting into that yet, or are you going to with this PC? Uh, I'm gonna have to with this one. I don't. I don't know if. I don't know if my friends are gonna let me go another minute without playing it. And now that I, I'll have a PC that can handle um, anything that comes my way, I'll, I'll get. I'll get into. I'll probably expand my interests just to, just to see what kind of, kind of games the PC can uh, can work with. Because I don't know if I'm getting that luxury right now. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no. Hey, we've all been there. We've all been there. No worries. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're upgrading. Oh, super upgrading. I mean, do you do you know um, what parts are in your system right now? Um, not off the top of my head. I know we emailed about it, uh -huh. but um, uh, I, all I know is specific, like very specific games just tank my frame. Or my frames are like, and it's weird ones too. Like I'll run, um, what's the game? Uh, I'll run like Assassin's Creed Mirage, mm -hmm. it's a very complex control game, and it'll be okay. It'll be like good, and then I'll try and run Minecraft, and it'll t the frames will drop. I know it's a drop down to like two per minute, and I I I don't know what the issue is with it, but it's probably something. I, it's probably by the way, it probably can handle Minecraft just fine. I just installed something improperly. You just don't even want to mess with it. But I mean, with Minecraft, it is a very CPU intensive game because it is just, you know, is a. It? Yeah, no, it's very CPU intensive. Like, yeah. Like, is it like a difficult to run from a CPU perspective? Yeah, like it, it's going to use more CPU resources than other games would. Other games just kind of give information to the CPU, the CPU throws it to the GPU, and then it turns out frames. But since there's a lot of things going on in Minecraft, like, you can also. You know, bombs and right. and little switches and all that crap that you can get pretty intricate in. Sorry, I'm not really a Minecraft person, but um, no, that <laughs> stuff that stuff rips, man. When you when you fully full out like your draw distance and stuff like that would tank anybody's PC. Uh, uh, it gets up okay, there. Okay, well that gives that. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't think about it because I guess Minecraft is kind of like a like a sim sort of game where like the, it has so many different moving parts that you don't necessarily make yourself aware of until you like crank up the resolution or the, the, the draw distance as you said no exactly so the cpu has to think for each individual thing that's doing something it's not necessarily that it's graphically intensive but a lot of things are doing things so the cpu has to think for all that oh, wow. which is why like uh battle royale games like uh warzone and even fortnite and stuff they're very intensive for the for the cpu uh not necessarily graphics because there's a hundred of 99 other players doing stuff right so CP has to keep up with all that. Okay. Warzone. Yeah, I just look at that game and it looks like some sort of technical feat. Like being able to like render that map for however many servers that are running it and have mm -hmm. it like go to the you know destructive probably like the game you know progresses and to still maintain that as well as hundreds of thousands of other servers is feels impressive but that's also why the game file is like 700 gigabytes <laughs> yeah that's why it's so freaking huge out. oh bless them they figure it out so, all right so you're getting some classic games you're gonna be doing some horror games are you gonna do any like editing or something on the system like any photos or videos i uh i did uh, you know, it's funny you say that. I, I would like to. Um, I just assumed that would be out of the realm of capability of what I have currently. So mm -hmm. I, I kind of avoided thinking about it. But if that's something that this PC in your hands now can handle, then absolutely. I would love to 
as of right now for you know i stream on youtube it might, mm-hmm. it might be more advantageous to have edited clips as opposed to just three hour vods <laughs> to, <laughs> to sift through or, you know, whatever reason. oh yeah i i know what you mean yes no man uh a gaming computer is nothing but a high tech workstation pc the biggest thing that's obviously there's between this and a, and a workstation pc is this has a graphics card which obviously this is main prerogative is to just churn out frames for video games but it also has an encoder for video so scrolling through having especially fast storage like that 990 pro um having fast storage like that uh you could definitely stroll through some videos and edit uh pretty seamlessly so you got the horsepower I was gonna say, is that the main difference between like a high-end office computer and a gaming computer? Is the graphics card specifically, or is it specifically? Like that's the only thing that's missing is the graphics card. Because a mostly a high-end uh, workstation usually has a pretty higher-end CPU, uh, decent RAM, or maybe a lot of it, uh, depending on who you get it from. Um, and then the only thing that is missing is this bad boy here. That's why it's the most expensive part in your build. Is always your GPU. Uh, now. I'm not recommending people do this, but if I had a workstation with a computer and I opened it up and put in a graphics card, would that mean I could make my workstation like a game station if I felt so inclined? Technically, yes, but the only limiting factor is obviously size. Um, Not every workstation is big like this. That and your power supply, what feeds power to your components. Usually workstation PCs, they don't really uh, give you uh, high-end power supplies they just kind of give you something that can get the job done but nothing extra so you would have to replace that for sure um, power supply just so you're feeding enough power to that gpu because it can you could draw some power um, other than that if it could fit yeah uh, some people will buy like an old <laughs> dell like optiplex or something with like an old i5 and put like a really small mini itx gpu in there just so they can game on the cheap people do that all the time oh look at that that's thinking smarter not harder yeah Anything to get in the door. I, I need to run for two seconds so because my dog is freaking out. But yeah, yeah, yeah no worries, man. Here, you'll meet. <laughs> I'll mute him just in case. What up, everybody? Welcome in. Sorry, we're taking. We're talking a lot of uh, oof in here. A lot of ish. Uh, welcome in, anybody. We are building Mason Gooding's PC today. I see you all in there, by the way. I do see you in there. I do see Fish A. I do see Kitty, of course. Danny was in there trying to say she was first. Uh, Martinez, of course, hitting with T Pain. Uh, I think I saw Batsy in there as well. Batsy, what up? How's it going? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do I see sausages? Came out like sausages. Dangerous, I see you in here. What up, Dangerous? How's the PC, bro? I built the PC for Dangerous that's on the chat. I hope the game, I hope Dang, PC like is it? ripping. Yeah, Dangerous, how do you like it? Clearly, clearly infatuated with it since he's back. Keeps him coming back. That's what I hope for. That's what I hope for. Earth, Earth, what up? Also build a PC for Earth. How you doing? Wow, look at you. These are loyal customers. Well, come back, hang out. That's what we do. Can you accidentally send me Mason's PC? Well, that seems pre-meditated. So now I'm gonna... Oh snap, someone just in the chat is sweet, oh sweet Lou. Oh Saint Lou, what up? There's a party in here, this is great. Oh Saint Lou. It's not even Christmas time yet. 
Who did it? Was that Princess? That. Princess what? Oh. Look at that. So this is your AIO. This AIO stands for all-in-one cooler. So in here is liquid. Uh, liquid gets warmed up at the little cold plate here. It's gonna be attached to your CPU, gets hot. Uh, warms up that liquid, goes over here, cools down in the radiator. After it's been cooled, goes back and resets the process. Interesting. Wait, what, what is it warming it for? I thought the whole point was to like cool it down. The CPU warms the uh, the cold plate, so this does direct contact with the uh, CPU, and then so it warms up the uh, liquid inside here, and then uh, after the liquid has been warmed, it goes up here, and these fans blow cooler air through these fin stacks, which cools down the uh, liquid and comes back. Oh. Where you going, Luna? What? Ah! I can't tell if this is another, uh, uh, like, setting to it, but you sound like you've entered a wind tunnel. It sounds like analog audio. It's interesting, but... Yeah, no, it's, uh, what's it called? It's called, uh, uh USS Lou Prize. Like Star Trek. <laughs> okay, wind tunnel, vacuum of space, so, ah, fitting with Dead Space. Yeah, look at that. Thematic resonance. Houston, we do have a problem. Bow. All right, so I want to replace, so let's go ahead and do the fans. So with the fans, like I said, I was going to ask you what color you want the corners to be. Totally preference, does not matter, uh, but it's just a color. You said the rest of the PC is black and gold? Yes, yeah, so the PC has gold accents, like all your buttons up here and connections are gold, your feet are gold. Um, the only thing that's not gold, that's not black, is all is just the front with wood. That's right. Well, is gold, is gold a possibility? Is that... What, we is have yellow? here... Is that like a yellow? Yeah, we have white, yellow, blue, green, red, and black. Oh, wow, the white is really nice. That's a really nice white. You like that white? Take an eye. Well, yeah, I do, I do, but you're the professional. What, what do you think? You also have it in front of you. What, what, what seems the most appropriate in, the, in this context? So you, you, can go, you can go X Games on them, right? And get, hit them with that red. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just totally off the wall. That is my but, favorite. you know, it doesn't match, so of course. Uh, but, probably would do... It says black with white accent sounds cool. I'm I'm challenged in color theory. I don't black with white. I just know sounds tried and true. I mean, if yeah, it's just a little bit like it's not. I would I would definitely be more opinionated if it was like the whole fan or like a lot of right. it. But it's just a little touch of it, and it's yeah, it's yours, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, but yeah, no, you can we could put a little little pieces of white in there. Do it. Let's ascend it. Let's rip it. Of course, freaking Noctua is so excessive with their packaging. What you really pay for is packaging. Right, to be taken out and then put into the... Wow. Options. 
dangerous you have wrote back what up lou the pc is amazing the rgb is amazing i control all of it from the mobo uh the cooling's top notch i've been playing microsoft flight sim for three days and the temperatures never hit over 65 nice dude that is a very wow. intensive game i was gonna say that's impressive lou dude that's nuts that's a very intensive game yeah good but nice man i'm happy to hear it i'm glad it's ripping Room. You have to do this six times with all the fans. Oh yeah. Is that? I, I'm curious. Do you ever? Are there any like physical stressors that you get from built? Like, does your back ever hurt? Does your <laughs> eyesight hurt? Uh, all right. So, from streaming or building in general? Uh, I do mean building, but uh, whichever whichever one has more. Uh, stake in your heart I suppose so streaming I would definitely would say um, having these four lights that are around me just blaring in my face obviously you probably know something about that um, does yeah. mess with my eyesight after like hour three there it I, is there yeah it is. after like it hour somewhere. three I have to go and put these uh, what I call gamer drops but they're really just like uh, they're called digi eye they're for people that stare at screens yeah. all day and they kind of have like a menthol cooling sensation over your eyes uh. Dude, my mom gave me that because she looks at the tablet too much. Really? Dude, she's on the iPad so much. She went out and bought drops for her own eyes. I didn't even say anything. She told me about it. Bless Could you imagine? Mom. Thank God for moms. That's incredible. Yeah, so, uh, looking yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah, looking out, yeah. She gave it to me too. She's like, no worry, I'll buy another one. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, good mom. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I'll say after that, other than like my eyes being burnt by these lights, uh, back, no, not problem. The only time my back kind of hurts is uh, whenever I'm carrying these gigantic PCs, which is, uh, you know, people yeah. make fun of me like, oh, you don't like giant PCs because you're such a mini ITX snob. It's like, dude, I have, it's like 80 pounds. I have to like straight up yeah, like, forklift no, it up. Carry it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're great because you get to have it and you put it on a desk and that's it. But I got to move it around everywhere. Right, exactly. I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you get your workout in. Oh that yeah. Keeps oh, in my shape. core, my core's tight. That's right. Keep it strong. Keep it strong. But other than that, nah, not bad. Uh, I'll say, uh, definitely have to keep some lotion around, zip tying stuff. Oh, of course. Definitely uh, rips the fingers you, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you probably sanitize your hands on the regular. Oh yeah, dude. For sure. Every time I before I stream, I always wash my hands. It just, you know, I'm, I'm touching something that I'm going to give someone else. And I'm going to, anybody on the stream would definitely would tell you I am a huge germaphobe. So, yeah, yeah oh, I yeah. also wash my hands before I do anything. I, you know, I oh, washed yeah. them two seconds ago. <clears throat> Don't, no one look into this. Bro. Even if it's yeah. like just been a certain amount of time, I'm like, you know what? Let me wash them a little bit. Stuffy now, in this Jackson case, the there's a mouth fan. Yeah, what were the Did you eye drops, you said? Digi drops? Digi something. What? What was it? Someone's asking about the name of the eye drops, you said? Oh, Digi Eye. Digi Eye. Yeah, so like so digital, I, but just Digi. Digi Eye. Digi Eye. There you go. Those things rip. At, at first, they scare you because they're like mentholated, so like they're start cooling your eye. So right. <laughs> don't be too afraid at first, uh, but after a while, after they set, like it feels pretty good. As long as we know that's how it's meant to feel. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I fought it at first. I fought it at first. Really? Yeah, and then my mom was like, no, don't worry about it. It's cool. Let the pain, let the pain go. That's right. But yeah, with editing, are you like you're trying to do videos for your uh, your stream stuff, right? That's the plan, at least right. to just kind of like edit stuff down into more like 
bite di- sized. Like, yeah, you know. more digestible. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to just giving people uh, three hours of uninterrupted nonsense that I'm usually akin to. Oh, I feel you. Can't be helped. I'm, uh. Just while we're sitting here. Signing some stuff off. And we're good. Do you have any plans for the holidays? Or is it. How. Do you, do you work through Thanksgiving? Or do you take. Do you take that off? Yes, yeah, so the main holidays we do have off. Um, but any other time, we're usually here. So, like, obviously, the day of. So, like, Thanksgiving, I am off. Um, before and after, right. I am here. Because, uh, you know, people want to be their PCs. Everybody's also excited for the holidays to get their PCs. And so, it's not like I can go away. I got I to gotta deliver what people want. Wow, that's dedication. Kind of just oh. goes with the trade. You say that, but I feel like a lot of people would, would, would protect their... Uh, personal time over their their you know, professional endeavors. But hey, like we said, like we said in the beginning of the stream, gamers just be playing games just to run away from regular life, bro. That's right. <laughs> it, that's well said. Help them escape. Help, Help them, them escape. escape. That's right. Okay, now we're getting into all the chords, aren't we? This is where all the all the freaking oh no we're still, on the, we're still on the fan okay oh yeah we, we still on the fan situation the um i'm excited to see how you uh manage all the the wiring and cords because that was easily what added like three or four hours to yeah me. yeah yeah for sure because you just don't know really where you want things to go and one of the things i always say too when it comes to cable managing is you don't really want to plug everything in and then manage you want to manage along the way so that way it's easier to manage a few cables as you're plugging them in than just plugging in all the cables and then trying to bundle them up and, and fold them and stuff. You're just going to give yourself a headache. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah, okay. I bet. That's what I got you for. Yeah, that's, that's what, that is what I'm here for. I, I, I get it from every side, bro. I get it from people that have never built a PC. So they want uh, you know someone that knows what they're doing to go ahead and handle it so nothing goes awry. Um, but also, there's other people that have been doing their PCs their whole life and just don't want to do it anymore. Like, dude, That's you just right. do it. Just just do it for me. Just do it for me. Just, do it. Well, that's, just get it over again, with. Again, that's, putting, that's uh, putting the best foot forward. Have the best making the best PC imaginable. Yeah, I'll take that over my dumb ass trying to figure it out myself. Also, also, I should ask, family-friendly stream? Because I will stop cursing immediately. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. All right. You are good. We had Gary Witt on here. Trust me, you don't hold back. Fair enough. Gary, <laughs> Gary Witt, don't hold back. It is cool. Of course, I asked Gary this, but I'll ask you as well. So, obviously, video games we went over. Uh, but TV and movies, like, what do you normally like to watch? Um, so, uh, since a lot of my job mm-hmm. is trying to keep up with, like, current IP. And thank, we're not in the strike anymore, so I can, I can talk pretty liberally about all the things. Yeah, uh, that I'm watching currently, but um, I guess the easiest one that I'd always be able to talk about, Strike or not, is I'm a big anime fan. Okay. So yeah. I watch a lot of a lot of anime to kind of decompress from the live action television and movies I have to watch in what does feel like research for work. Yeah. But um, beyond that, some easy ones. The Simpsons is my favorite show of all time. I, I watch that if I'm just wanting to like like if i'm unwinding i usually just throw on the simpsons the simpsons okay classic big fan um and then as far as like what i've been watching as of late i'm going back and watching the sopranos because i had never wow you know what you're like the third person that told me that too what's up with that everybody's getting into the sopranos again have you watched it's i so i feel like that's when television the prestige of television kind of (laughs) Yeah. That's that's and that's I, where it peaked right there. 
I think so. Or at least that's where it, that's what set about the rest of you know the era of television being the most prestigious premier uh, media platform as it exists today. But um, James Gandolfi James Gandolfini is a brilliant actor, and I, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to take from that what I will. Um, beyond that. I just I, with my lady. I just watched uh, the summer. I turned pretty. Uh, I don't know if you were checking that one out. I okay. watched it on Amazon, and it was quite nice. Chris, the guy, he's one of the actors on there. Dear mm -hmm. friend, knocked it out of the park. It's a great show. It's a lot of fun to watch. Okay, it's a good time. Amazon got I some good hits every every now and then. Yeah, you see the boys. The boy and people love the boys. People love the boys. People love the boys. I didn't think I would. Because, you know, I'm a big, I think superhero uh, content is usually my, like, safe space. Like, how I f escape into, um, uh, uh, f like, fantasy, I suppose. Yeah. Just to put it bluntly. And the boys kind of shits on that. Um, mm -hmm. But I met Jack Quaid, and we became friends. And I was like, you know, I should check out that show. And now I'm obsessed. So, uh one thing led to another i'm immensely grateful for having friends that are immensely talented and can put me on to their shows that are also immensely pleasurable to watch absolutely absolutely i love i love the memes i gotta be honest with you i haven't watched the boys like but the me, memes be having me dead i was gonna say like anthony Starr, who plays homelander i did the there's a meme where he like exhales in a very yes. exasperated fashion and i oh, yeah, use dude. that all the time you just just get that out and put it in any video it just works that's right it just it just works that's, that's how i right. feel with uh like the off like i've never seen the office but the memes off the office are fire right every you single bet. one of them. sometimes sometimes i feel like i have seen the office but if i hadn't watched the office i imagine i feel like i i would have feel felt like i did by mm -hmm. how many memes about it i've seen Yes. Seen that whole show, basically. Dude, every single one. Doesn't even matter which one it is. It, the dude looking through the blinds. It's a classic. Yeah. Even that yeah. one's hilarious. See, it's iconic. Oh, yeah, they're mentioning Gen V. I also watched Gen V, which is the spinoff of The Boys. It's like them in college. That was cool too. That was cool. So, do you watch like old anime or do you watch new anime? All of it, really. My favorite movie of all time is uh, Princess Mononoke, and that that was, I think, like two thousand one, and maybe earlier than that. Um, and if you call call that old, uh, that's let's see, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, it's the year after I was born. I'll call that old because I'm old, <laughs> uh, or at least I feel it. Um, and then. Uh, current anime, I mean, again, I watch a lot, but I, ju I just, I'm still very excited about Jujutsu Kaisen's last episode. I don't know if you watch JJK, but I highly recommend if you haven't taken the plunge. No, I know, I know. A lot of people tell me about that one, too. Oh, come on. Get in there. Just a give it a people. shot. I promise you'll love it. You'll love it. Come like, on. I still, I still haven't seen Attack on Titan yet. Everybody's always yelling at me for what? that. What? I know, man. Oh, I know. All right. See, look, on, another yeller dude. right here. See, I knew. Come on, another yeller. <laughs> yeah, the, it's. I imagine that it, that that increases the buy-in to watch anime when people yell at you for not watching it. Yes. That, I can't imagine that helps or makes you want to watch it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it just it makes me more that more defiant. Sense. More defiant. You, you, I think you should watch it if for no other reason than it's just a damn good story. Just. Tons of twists and turns and the action's great. It's a good time. It is. That's, That's what they say. I think it's it's into. it's over now, right? It's all finished. You can watch it's all the finished, whole right? thing. Then, you can check that out. Right. Then maybe I'll watch it now because it's over. Because it's over. Exactly. I can I can ingest it. You know, ingest it. I can I can get it over with. Yeah. See, you've got the option. I got I got oh, the option. Um, another. Another game I love is Batman Arkham Knight. I don't know why I felt the need to say that now, but I love that game <laughs> dearly. Um, Bro, as a big Batman fan, I understand. I bought the uh, trilogy not too long ago it was on sale. So I'm playing it again. Yeah? Yeah, I'm playing it again you right play, now. You're going through the beginning. Again? Yeah, like Arkham Asylum, I go through of, all of them. What do you think of Arkham City, the second one? 
August though was fine. I had no no issues with it because it was just more exploration. I like to explore. Like that's me. Yeah. Like those Assassin's Creed games where you, or Far Cry or whatever where you have to go up the post to unlock that little region of map. Yeah. I like that. Like that's me. You loved it. Yeah, I don't like I, I, I don't think, mind I stuff like that. I like I, I I agree. I think that makes it a more like enjoyable experience to, to do your own legwork to get you know, to unlock parts of the map or to find collectibles or something. So I, yes. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, with Far Cry 3, I think um, the more, like, outposts you unlock, then, like, the better weapons you can get. So I was like, I'm just going to do all of them. So I did all of them so that way I already had the sniper. And I can just that's take right. out outposts without even being found. <laughs> and, like, you to me, that's me playing the game I, how I want to play it. That's smart. That's right. Wow, Far Cry 3. That's a – yeah, that was definitely one – that was definitely one I bought behind my mother's back as well. Love <laughs> dearly, dearly. Did did you ever play? I'm sorry. Now that we're talking, I'm like thinking of all my like past favorites. Uh -huh. Did you ever play Max Payne Three? Oh yeah, and that that uh, was... that that uh, you remember they did like a reboot or whatever? Not a reboot, but the the continuation was that uh, where he's older. I'm. That's well. He is older in three. I is know it, one and two were made by Remedy. Yes, and yes. And in three, he goes back down. He has a Hawaiian shirt on. Yeah. Yes. Dude, yes. Dude, yes. I played the crap little, out of that. Yeah, that was good. That was a good. That's game. right. That game's great. And by the way, holds up. I don't. I, that was one of the first games I got when I got a PC. It was just to try like. Yeah. Mouse and keyboard controls yep. with the shooting, and it's it's as crisp as you would expect. Yes. That dude. That was a that was a good ass game. And I think they're remaking the first one for current gen. Consoles. Yeah, they better keep the same face too. That's what. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sam, what's his name? Sam Lake, I think his name. Is. They better keep the same face. Oh. Oh, hello. Sorry, my dog. It, uh, if you hear like grunting, it, uh, it's my dog. He's it's a, the doggo. He looks very worried because he doesn't necessarily like being up and around. But yeah, I think I think any any small creature really doesn't want to be off the ground. A little You'd worried. You say that, but this is how they get perspective, you know. <laughs> Princess, you're talking about uh, Titanfall. It ended, and you cried. Is that emotional? Was it Titanfall or Attack on Titan? Attack on Titan. Bo both are great. Wait, what Attack did I say? Titan. Did I say Titanfall? You said I'm Titanfall, slipping. which is great. I'm That's slipping. That's a great game. Bro. Dude, the other day they were talking about uh, someone on stream, uh, who I call Brookie, was talking about Dying Light and how there's zombies and stuff. And I was like, are there zombies? And my dumb ass was thinking about Dead by Daylight. Uh, so it's all mixed hilarious. up up in here, man. It's all mixed up. <laughs> I was gonna say, you, you, that's okay. You're working with your hands. You got a lot going on. I imagine uh, wires get crossed all the time. Oh yeah, dude. Those those wires are definitely crossed. That's right. Titanfall two was great too. Played that in college. Damn fine game. What Titanfall? Titanfall two at least. I, I've never played one, but Titanfall two was great. Big fan. Big old fan. Ah, get it? Because it's working. Anyway. Um, that's right. That's right. His cables don't cross. They're, 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 they're all well-ordered, as we discerned. So are you playing the, the Arkham games now? Uh, on my own private time, yeah. I, I, I run through and, and, and beat up bad guys as Batman. Uh, There's no other game that perfected the parry system and, and Batman and Arkham City. No I mean, other game has copied that perfectly. Maybe no, Jet Li game get, from I mean, PS2, and that's it. When Jet Li <laughs> had his own game, remember that? That was all right. I do remember that. A classic. That is definitely a certified classic. certified hood classic. I, um, certified, I, <laughs> certified hood classic. Certified hood Put it right up there next to NBA vol Street Volume 2. That's right. That's right. Or that the, there was a football game that was like, it was like backyard football, but it was yes. rated M, and you could like break bones or something. But it was great. 
Um, no, ba- the Batman games are fantastic. I love the Marvel Spider-Man games for the PlayStation, but for sure, I'll I mean, more frequently. I I'm not. I've that. I've gone on and say I'm not a big Marvel fan, but there is nothing better than web swinging in Spider-Man. Any of them doesn't matter. Yeah, web swinging is just not fun. a big Mar- in general, or or like for the games, the uh, out movies that that universe. I I am not in it. Lot B. Well, there is a pretty heavy buy-in these days. <laughs> there is a, you, you have to basically do more homework to keep up with oh, the yeah. MCU than you would actual school. Oh, for sure. I mean, they basically, <laughs> to their, uh, you know, to their down, uh, I won't say downfall, I guess, but, uh, you know, yeah. Disney Plus, we all heard what's going on with Disney Plus. Um, they constantly That's either funny. wanted something in the movie theaters or when there was nothing in the theaters, something on TV. Just constant, constant mm-hmm. for both Marvel and Star Wars. Right. And then they're wondering why they're see, but, blowing money. I did, see, but that, and this could just be my uh, version of escapism, but mm-hmm. I love a high buy-in. I love investing that time to like discover things that a clue me into the next one. Uh, just call me like uh, an extreme consumer, but I find with like the MCU and whatnot is it kind of self-perpetuates where I'll like watch a show and feel confused about something. So it makes me go back and check something else out. Yeah. But I also like reading comic books where that is the name of the game. It's like, you'll be like reading something and it'll reference something and tell you which issue you can find it in. And I'll go back and, and uh, uh, educate myself the same way I do now with MCU projects. But I, I'm a, I'm an MCU shill. I, they, they could, they could sell me a, a Spider-Man, toothpick and i buy several times over <laughs> can't be helped that's what they're marketing for like and the thing is too people say uh well like the conception is since i don't i'm not a big mcu person i must be just a big um dc films guy and no i mean they haven't made a good movie either since man of steel in my opinion you know you really these are fighting words you dude I, li- i'm wearing to square up man I, I that's how i be I th- and it could just be the difference in like what one expects out of those movies, but yeah. I'm so easy to play. Like I, especially if I'm in a theater, I do think most things I see, I'm like, oh, I like this about it. And it could just be because, you know, my job is ultimately the same where I can look at different pieces of it and be like, oh, that set design was really remarkable. Or yeah. The visual effects there. And, um, I feel like the DC DC's put out a lot of stuff that has um, both surprised and kind of moved me emotionally. I saw Blue Beetle. Okay. And I felt like I felt like uh, both from a representation aspect as well as a narrative um, point of view, they're making strides in a way that I like the trajectory at the very least. I, I, I should also say I'm an optimist, by the way. I didn't, oops, I forgot to mention. I do like to <laughs> no, look wait a minute, wait a minute. Side of this. Also an optimist, so layer that on top. Right, yeah. We have to, I have to, I have to, I have to uh, preface there. Oh, but this, what about the Spider-Verse movies? Do you like the Across and Beyond and Into the Spider-Verse? <sighs> Don't do this. Don't I do have, this. I, Don't I, break my heart. <laughs> Don't break my heart. I'll just say I haven't seen them. All right, I haven't seen them. Okay. So my judgment Are you lying? is you still on you. Them you... <laughs> it's still no, no, no. I'm not lying either. No, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. You, oh, you gotta watch them. I that's, had some friends that were trying to get me to watch the second one, but like, dude, I haven't watched the first one. They're like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, it matters. You don't need to watch the first one. What? You it don't doesn't need matter. To watch the first one. It it matters, but I'm gonna tell you, you can watch the second one and still find an immense amount of enjoyment. Wait, Martina, Martina says you haven't seen Princess Bride. Oh my God! Ooh, come on, dude. come on, man. No, you, man, I you, haven't you seen it. Everybody here makes fun of me for it too. I have damn, never man. seen Princess Bride. Damn, damn. Uh, it's okay. While you're building, I'll act out the entire movie. All right, <laughs> here, here, let's go. Me and Iggy will perform the rest of the movie. You gotta check that out. Straight from memory. Check that out. Straight from memory. I haven't seen it in years, so it would be maybe 20 minutes long. And it's just entirely <laughs> all the big points, all the big points. Killed my father. The bear, he died. 
Now we can have a whole freaking podcast of all the movies I haven't seen that you're supposed to see. All the movies you haven't seen? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me let me not be rude and ask you. What are you watch? Are you watching anything? Are you are you uh, a fan of any uh, series, show, movie? Shows these days, not particularly. I mean, I do watch an anime once in a while. Um, I, I'm into My Hero Academia, uh, Demon Slayer, of course. Yeah. Um, those. I I remember when I watched Demon Slayer. Um, the movie was coming out, which is, you know, basically part two, but just they made it a movie. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, it's coming out. I was like, oh, really? Well, actually, I've never seen Demon Slayer. It's on my list. So let me watch it now. So I crushed through that show. Literally crushed it. Wow. When the final episode went through, I turned it off, grabbed my keys, and went to the movie theater because I already had paid for a ticket to go watch the movie. Really? Yeah. It was it was like that. Wow. You timed that perfectly. Yeah, dude. That's literally perfectly. Up. Literally perfectly. And it was worth it, I assume, because that movie, I loved that one. The movie was all, the movie was all right. I liked it. Um, the dreams, the dream sequences, I enjoyed, but they didn't really connect. Like I mean, I also I, they haven't, I haven't seen the continuation yet. But um, that dude's father of like just not wanting to be a a demon slayer anymore, just like losing all motivation. I felt like that was connected to the to the demon, but they never really made right. note of that. There, yeah, that's I, I've read the manga, so I, I uh-huh. I'd have to continue on without trying to spoil things. But it, yeah. it, it's it's setting up something that like takes place later on in the series. That, that I makes understand sense. that you'll watch it and be like, well, uh, that felt like a path to nowhere. But if you continue on, you'll see like, oh, that's what they were doing. That's what they were doing. It's all part of the plan, you know. <laughs> it's all that's it's all part of their time. master plan. That's, that's right. That's right. Them and the MCU. They're all in cahoots with each other. MCU. You gotta you gotta ingest three thousand hours worth of content to understand what's what's going on in twenty twenty three. It's yeah, it t- t- turns out being a Marvel fan is a full time job. Yeah, it's it's uh, homework. To, that's right. You have to that's put in your awesome. sixty hours a week. I can't handle for little it. return. And I do it every time. Um I was gonna have something. Oh, uh, do you see the Batman, the Robert Pattinson yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, Robert Pattinson's. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Did you like it? I did. I did like it because see, that I was after Man of Steel. Yes, but that's a standalone. Like the the universe, the DC universe is like. But they're moving away. Their standalones, like the Christopher Nolan trilogy. Obviously, Christopher Nolan's one of my favorite directors. Like I, every movie he's, he's come out mm-hmm. with, basically, I, I've loved. Uh, but. The standalones like uh, Joker, you know, with uh, Joaquin, I love that movie too. That movie was great. Can't wait for the second one to come out. Uh, Their standalones are great. I like that eerie, like, that's where I think DC really triumphs is, you know, Marvel's got the cutesy, uh, uh, you know, little kid's hero in there. But then DC's got that eerie, dark feel, and I just, I enjoy that a lot more. Yeah, I do do find it interesting how much DC has predicated a lot of their work on, like, really dark and gritty but they still get like a young audience the kids their parents are clearly just like oh i know batman from oh yeah B- batman Canada, superman kid. yeah he's cool and then at the end of man of steel he go snaps watch- a dude's neck he snaps his odds that's neck. right that's right go watch batman land a 64 hit combo on some <laughs> thug's chest just non-lethal. absolutely eviscerate his life. non-lethal no uh, right he's not like he lived non-lethal. he just not can't totally walk non-lethal. Yeah, he can't walk, breathe without a machine. But as long as he's alive, that's that's where the moral high ground comes in. <laughs> that's how I feel now with uh, you know that new RoboCop uh, RoboCop game came out. Yeah, that's Dude, right. That, it's hilarious. Shoot the, <laughs> you can shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cop. You're in the arrest. You parked in the wrong spot. Headshot. Blows him to kingdom come. Yeah, 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 they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, totally. I forgot. I, forgot. I, I was gonna back. I haven't seen that, but no, it's like first person, and he's like slow and clunky, like in the. Movie. Oh, dude, it is. It's like, oh, you got to go three hundred ma- uh, meters that way. Like, all right. Three hundred meters. Yeah, it's a seven hours And he just like walk in there, and he's so freaking slow. That's okay. I relate to that. I'm not the you fastest. Can, you can relate. Exactly. Who can relate? Boop. 
because these fans have small cables. Oh, you're installing the fans now? Yeah. Installing the fans on the AIO now with the new ones. I notice you're being very delicate with the. Is, it, is that a very delicate part, the portion of the. I, I just don't want to, I guess, stretch it. I mean, there is liquid in here, and I don't oh, want to okay. bang this up on anything. Usually there's pre applied thermal paste here, but um, Arctic does not put uh, thermal paste on, so I have to apply it myself. Okay. But I just want this banging around anyway. I do like a lot of like off the wall movie stuff. Mm. Like there's like a really what? old, not old, but like an older movie from like 2011 called The Perfect Host. I love that movie. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, damn good one. Stars See? from that. Stars that dude from uh, Frasier. What's his name? That's right. I, oof, yeah, no, I'm terrible. No, 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 no. I forgot his oh, name. Frasier. That's right. The Frasier. <laughs> Frasier. I didn't even make that. Connection. You're right. The, yeah, Frasier fellow. Dude, love that movie. Love that movie. I think that movie's sick. Um, have you ever seen uh, The Raid Redemption? The Raid Redemption? It's fantastic. That's the greatest action movie ever committed to screen. I, if you like balls-to-wall action, butt-kicking, great. It depends. It depends. It de oh, God. It depends. So, like, uh, remember Hardcore Henry when that came out? That first-person action movie? Yeah. I like that movie. Yeah. I thought that movie was sick. Because it tries something new. It's, like, yeah. different. Maybe something you haven't seen before. Yeah. I liked it. I liked the I'll perspective. The, it was gory as hell. The, I'll say The Raid Redemption is that level of innovative, but from a more, like, analog standpoint. Like, the, ca the camera movement, the angles, the action that's actually being showcased is, like, Obviously, you've seen it maybe since because they copy. So many people have copied from it, but that was like the first time you'd get like, you know, that was really the first time you'd get like gunshots from like point blank, like close combat mm -hmm. range. And then obviously, it led into John Wick with the gun foo, but it um, it works really well. It's a great gritty, fun action movie. Can't recommend it highly enough. When it comes to action movies, people, again, they yell at me. They yell at me with action movies. Yeah. Cause I, I, I pick and choose not. definitely with my action movies. I, I I don't just need to watch a movie because it has guns in it. Mm. But it it, de it depends. I like, I like I love thrillers. Like, I love thrillers. Thrillers definitely. Yeah. Like, even something as small as uh, 23 Cloverfield Lane. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, that movie was sick. Uh, don't That's Breathe. Great. Like, the first one. Don't Breathe. Fantastic. Dylan shouts out, great, great movie. Um, like I like, I like those. Now John Wick, I haven't seen. Interesting, interesting. Because that's, but that's, it's thrilling, but that's straight action. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Straight it's up. thrilling. Yeah, yeah, but certainly not a thriller. Have you seen uh, the movie Green Room? No. No, but I know you're talking about yes, where those those dudes are are basically like trapped in that room. With the neo Nazis, yes. I think you'd like that movie. No, um, that dude, that, you reminded me of that movie. Yes, actually, that was like on my list to watch. That that came out a few years that ago. That's for, yeah, in twenty, I want to say seventeen, twenty seventeen. Yeah, like twenty eighteen or something like that. Favorite. Before I came over here, when I moved to Texas, yeah, dude, that that. Thank you for reminding me about that movie. Actually, that was on my Green list. Green Room was twenty fifteen. Uh, I'm old. Um, oh, <laughs> no, I'm old too. No. Um. Yes, dude, that was actually on my list. From, from Luis, would you choose an i seven? One two seven zero zero K or a R five seven six hundred. They was to say Lou Streak. Hi, would you choose an I seven twelve seven hundred K or I an R five seven six hundred? It depends. It depends if you're going for a full on new build. Um, oh, that's that's hard because you will want the newer architecture from AMD. But the i7-12700K is just 
since it's an older CPU and the fact that once you get that 12700K, you can go ahead and upgrade that, um, that CPU to a 14 later on down the road uh, once you use it. That's a hard, that's a hard pick. I would say if if it was an R5 7600X, I would aim there, but you still get more cores on the 12700K, and you have more upgradability now with the 14th gen out. Um, I will go with 12700K. I will go 12700K now, and then later when like the new Intels come out, 14th gen will be cheaper, or even one generation after that will be even cheaper than that. Uh, you can upgrade, no questions asked. Just upgrade the BIOS and you're just set to go. So I still would say 12700K because you can upgrade way easier later. Right. But if you Mason agrees. So, dumb, so. Go my side. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. You have all this knowledge stored in your head that you can like hear a bunch of numbers and letters <laughs> and correlate them to like pieces that actually affect your PC. <laughs> Just that. I like that. A whole bunch of numbers in your head. Because, I mean, think about it. They're not necessarily, well, I guess they it probably register to you as terms and like proper yeah, nouns. Yeah, yeah. But to me, I hear numbers and letters and I go, I don't speak that language. <laughs> Word. Bless your heart. Green room, man. That's a classic. I, if you haven't seen it, man, I do. Dude, I haven't seen it. I gotta watch it. You, and you will not regret it. That's a damn good one. Here we go. Uh, While well, you say thrillers, have you seen Good Time? Seen what? Good Time? Good Time? No, I haven't Robert seen Tyler, that one. Another. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, I do recommend it. Uh, it's another thriller. It's quite good. I remember, dude, that you want to talk about old. I remember back in the day, in like 2014, Hulu just to have a pretty, a pretty nice like indie movie scene. Uh, same mm -hmm. with Netflix, dude. Netflix just had a really good indie movie scene in like 2012. That's right. Uh, now it's just you know whatever they make. But um, on Hulu, they had uh, they still have it, but Korean movies. They had a lot of Korean movies on Hulu. Got to see uh -huh. some of the best movies there. That's right. Thriller movies that get you whipped up. That's right. That's right. Korean movies have been pushing boundaries and setting a tone. Now, I mean, now they're just life. super scary, and I just I, I can't handle it. They do spooky. I was gonna say one of the most most disturbing horror films I've ever seen was a Korean film, and I won't say the name on here because I actually do not want people to go about. That <laughs> you don't want to summon that, that presence. It's a it's a well done movie, but I actually felt physically ill and mm -hmm. couldn't sleep for a day or so just by virtue of the things I put in my head thereafter. Mm -hmm. But it was a Korean movie again, pushing boundaries. Uh, Do they push those boundaries? Happen to be my comfort level, but that's fine. That's fine. Still, they push some alive, serious so. brown, boundaries over there, man. It's sick. But it, hey, it makes for good cinema. More often than not. I've seen some of the best movies, man. It's just super gory. People are backstabbing each other. I'm like, man, what is going on? It's kind of like, it's, they always start it with like, they're in, they're already in the shit. Like, they're not even like starting the movie. Like, build, no, they're already in it. They're in the middle of something. Oh, yeah. And you're like trying to that's piece state. it together. Yeah, that's good. That's good writing. That's Get right <laughs> into it. True yes. That. Yeah. And that's definitely I where I, I mostly movies. aim for. Like, all right, so like I said, I wasn't a big MCU person. One of my favorite movies is definitely Logan. Fantastic. I that's, thought that movie was yeah. written re really well. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it start to finish. And I, 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 I now that you're mentioning it, I'm like, I will watch that movie again. I'll watch <laughs> you know, yeah, I actually thought about watching it again. Uh, that might bring Wait, back Logan. You got a whole PC to build. We might as well cut it on right now. No. Yeah. Well, that, uh, they're, they're a copyright thing because I am, I stream on YouTube. I'm assuming Twitch is even more stringent about like what you stream and 
There it is. Look at that. Sorry, got distracted. No, you're good. Wow. You're good. No, I, I would say YouTube is definitely more picky with that stuff. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. no, YouTube is definitely more picky. Like, all right, let's say for music, like Twitch will give me a warning, like, hey, uh, this this kind of flag this, and I could tell it, yo, chill out. I, I make sure I don't use, uh, you know, copyrightless music. Uh, but YouTube is like, yeah, we think this is it, so no money for you. No way. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, we're taking. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No, I can't fight it That's or fun. anything. So they just do. Oh wow, they just do it and don't even. Nope. It's not even a discussion. Nope. At least with Twitch, well, I can I can write back and and it, it ninety nine percent of the time it takes it off, and it unmutes that part. They let you appeal. But they just basically just oh, no. unmonetize the whole video on YouTube. So here is the case, uh, as you see from the top view. It's all gold yeah. connections here. Uh, the feces are gold. The front is wood. Now the front does come off. Um, I do have to take it off just so I can oh. install the fans. Now, one reason why I definitely would like to show you that is this right here is your main dust filtration from the front. So this yeah. will get a little dusty. So like every two months or so, just uh, pull it from the bottom, and it comes right out. So there's like little. Two little pegs right here that go right in. You just pull from the bottom, pull it out, good to go. Wow. And then okay, this that's just, beautiful. Uh, just comes out like that. And then you is go that outside magnets, and or is it, like... it clips on. Usually they're magnets, but this one clips okay. in. Okay. I don't know how much I trust magnets anyway. <laughs> so that's the wooden front. That There are already two fans in here. I was going to say, did you put those in off camera or was that, it does it come with that? It comes with them. They're pre-included. Oh, interesting. And you're going to fit four more in there? So I'm going to remove these two 140 millimeter fans for smaller 120 millimeter fans, but I get to put three of them. So there is more, there you, you know, more uh, volume of air being moved through. That's I think a lot of case manufacturers just kind of put fans in here for you just for the off chance that maybe it's your first PC and you don't really know how important fans are. So like, oh, look, I already put some fans in there for you. Just use them, please. Top is real easy, actually. Top just kind of slides out and then lifts up. This will also maybe gather a little bit of dust. You go ahead and blow that out. There's like a little, nice little leather uh, tab in the back. If you saw it already, and cool. He does show that thing off, like. <laughs> does he? <laughs> child, child. Oh my god! Yeah, we were at we were at uh, like a little gathering at his place, and there's obviously people there, and he was like, "I need you to come with me." I'm like, okay. Went to his office, and for like 20 minutes, he sat there and just like stared at it. Really, is like a war. The same way, like I imagine. The uber wealthy just bring people in to look at like pieces of art that they've yeah. amassed. Mm -hmm. He was like, and this is my PC. And <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Well, isn't that a work of art? <laughs> They're like hunters wow. and stuff, and they got a lot of animal butts. That's on right. The wall. <laughs> That's right. There is a little screw right here. Kind of a secret screw. that out so realistically I didn't really need to remove that but it kind of makes it easier for me to uh, line up these front fans these fans right here to the front Martinez you are correct hopefully it's not too loud but yeah let's go ahead and give it a shot so this is my screwdriver here makes my job a lot easier Screwdriver. Huh. Ah, thank you. Right. 
Uya. 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 We are hiding in here is the hardware. So every screws and all that stuff that the motherboard needs to mount to the case. It's right here. Ow, don't pinch me. So you say you are going to put an Elgato card in here? Um, I probably will. Yeah, I'll probably okay. take the one out and pop it in. If there's space for that. If not, then that's okay. No, <laughs> no you should be totally straight to um to put any type of extension card. In. Elgato will probably go right here on the uh, Mobo. So you have a few slots here. So the top one's going to be taken up by the GPU. You do have another slot here. And then one on the bottom, I would definitely suggest you go for this uh, little slot right there. That one there. Look at yeah. you give me options. Bless you. Bro, like Jack Harlow, bro. That's right. <laughs> Just say the exact same. <laughs> the exact same everything. So now that you're on the uh, the Twitch ecosystem, you're gonna start streaming to Twitch as well. I think so. I, I I didn't know it would be so simple as to just press a button and stream twice. Uh, yeah. That being said, sometimes I, I feel like I might just try Twitch to try it and like you know keep let YouTube be its own thing and have Twitch be its own thing. But okay. as of right now, I'll probably just. Uh, uh, you know, click on both and then stream two times over. Two birds, one stone. But, so you're uh, thinking like maybe YouTube for clips and stuff, and and Twitch just keeps all your yeah. your, your big streams. The big one, the big uh, the big vods. But um, that's all stuff that once I get this bad boy in my house, I'm like I'll have more more uh, options at my disposal to be able to kind of pick and choose. That's right. That's Jack right. Harlow, bro. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna stream the Arkham series then, right? I intend to, absolutely. Or you know they're doing a Marvel's Wolverine game. Yes. I don't know if you knew that, bro. Oh my god, what's the one from PS2? Yeah. X Men Origins, uh, bro. Wolverine. X Men Origins. God, well, the, that game was so nutty. hard. That's a movie tie-in game that also happens to be the best Wolverine game on the market. Dude, so Incredible. freaking hard. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and so unbelievably violent. Shockingly enough, it was like an <laughs> M-rated video game, but my mother didn't know that because it was Wolverine, and mm -hmm. there I was just lopping people in half. Oh, dude, when you grab them and you go, <clears throat> yeah, 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 your yeah. freaking blades. Well, that one for my real life. I do that. That's what I do when people uh, cut me off in traffic. It's oh, the word. same thing. Over there. That's where I got that. So don't uh, don't cut me off. And if you're in LA driving, just be careful because I have Wolverine claws. <laughs> just you wait. Okay, there he is. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. No freaking X Men Origins Wolverine. That's just I gotta re I gotta replay that. I don't. They didn't redo it, but luckily on PC you can emulate games. So I don't know if you know about that little secret. That's right. Secret. Which I need help doing. I, I want to run an emulator. No, I don't. That's illegal. Wink. Uh, but um, I do. I do really want to do that. God, you That's really so want to know, so that way you know not to do it. You just got to know how, so that way you know not to do it. Just give me the information. Exactly. Yeah, then... I'm trying to <laughs> trying to educate myself so yeah, that hello. I can avoid it. You know. Yeah. It's like You're going under cover. Yeah. And when you go under cover, you got to take a little bump. You got to take a little bit. Yeah. That's the only way you're in the cover. That's right. That's how you were in the trust of the <laughs> the underground. The underground of uh, uh, emulating video games. It's there. It's there. It exists. Nah, dude. I got I to gotta emulate that in that game. That's sick. Uh, that's the glory that's of, of PC. You can, you can emulate things. You can play whatever the heck you want. I, I, 
just an, an excuse to be able to play the Pokemon games of the past. The Pokemon games. Which one? Emerald. My favorite game of all time, bar none. Number one is Pokemon Heart Gold. It's really? Number game. one. Top shelf. Number one. Top shelf. If I could play that on my PC, I would. But as of right now, I just have an old DS that I dust off and put to good use. My favorite old like Game Boy game is uh, I played it on the Game Boy Advance SP, mm-hmm. and it was Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, the gigantic a classic, uh, another twist. certified hood classic. Dude, certified, dude. I played the crap out of That's that game. Right. That game's fantastic. That's. Do you ever um? Do you know Kingdom Hearts? Do you ever play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on the D- on the Game Boy SP? No, I did not. Um, the oh, what was it? Do you remember when they re-released them and they there was a combo pack where you can get yeah. one? And I was gonna play it on there, but I don't. I, I don't. Remember, I don't have that copy anymore. I don't know where it is. Wow, it might be worth a rebuy. That hey, listen, if I know where to send it, I'll get it for you. Deal. Oh, the hookup. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Dude, those and, were and, and, yeah. those were out there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Dang, Kingdom Hearts. Did you play the new one? I didn't play the third one. And there's another one coming out, too. I did play I, I played them all. I, that's, that, that was, like, one of my favorites for the longest time. But I think as I got older, it just didn't just, it hit the same for me. Uh-huh. But I, I loved them at the time. Even three, which I think came after I had already kind of, you know, moved on. Uh, I still love. I had a, had a really good time with it. I just will never go back and play it. <laughs> Which is fine. Sometimes things are just meant to be enjoyed for the moment. Yeah, definitely. There's there's definitely some there's some games out there that uh, I necessarily won't play again now that I'm an adult with limited time. That's right. That's right. I'm trying to think of the best case. Oh, all the Sims games. I, I think I just that'll just be a time in my life that I, I'll look back on fondly, but never forget it. Yeah. 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 You're just gonna look back, and I'm gonna go sink in a bunch of hours into that now. Because it's basically Although just another job. one game. I, the, truly, one game of that same sort of ilk that I do always want to go back and play is Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'll never go back and actually play it, but in my head, I'm like, oh man, what a good time! Roller that Coaster was. Tycoon Three, bro. The, the yeah, full that's complete the one. edition. I played that on an old Dell laptop with Windows XP, and it would yeah, burn the man. bottom of it, man. Just hot yeah, damn on my right. stomach. <laughs> oh. you, had to, you had to play the game zoomed out. Otherwise, if you went too close, it starts stuttering. You start, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, no, 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 no. Wow. No, that laptop Ooh, could not handle it, but I freaking loved it. I keep, I, I, I do play the new one, the Planet Coaster games. I do play those. But now, since I'm older, like I don't have the patience to create a park. What what I enjoy is running the park, hiring people, firing That's people. Right. The money, like I have a big loan, I gotta handle it's that. The logistical stuff. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy the crap out of that, like more than I should. But I do like it. But now it's kind of makes I, me. It, it, it keeps trying to make you build a park, and it's just like I don't have that in my brain. But that's like the, the come on, that's the fu- no, it's not. That's not no, that's the hard part because I would keep like throwing people off, and <laughs> and that was no fun for my. Old it's like yeah, go build this crazy was- roller coaster. And it's like all right, yeah, I'll build it, and then it's like no, it's too crazy. People are throwing up and dying. I'm like God, what do they want? Throwing up and dying. My favorite was you know you can download like other people's parks and like yep. see how they did theirs and uh, i'll never forget uh this very famous roller coaster from roller coaster tycoon like servers was this one called mr bones wild ride <laughs> and uh it was a roller coaster that lasted i think like a hundred in-game years oh. and once you like it just moves at like half a mile pace for like a 1700 mile track or something and once it gets off, like once the exit, you, the, the little people exit, it dumps them right back into the entrance of the line. And, and there's like one 
thought, you know, because it tells you like what the theme park, like the people in the theme park are thinking or yeah. saying. And it was the same message over and over and over again. I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. <laughs> and so, Mr. Bones, yes, yeah, aka Danny gets it. Mr. Bones' wild ride. Yes, I Danny, it's a classic. Off. Oh my so. God. I want to get off this ride. You're killing me. Yeah, it's emblematic of my real life. I just want to get off Mr. Bones' wild yeah, ride, just, dude. Yeah, That's all I want. Riding me like a cruise. That's right. Wow. Can I tell you how much it took me maybe five hours to get where we are now in the, in this PC building closet. This is crazy. You probably took everything out. It was like, whoa, what do I do with all this? Yeah, most of it was me trying to read instructions and realizing instructions are not instructing me on anything productive. Oh, no, man. They're, they're, it's like the same instructions they've had since like 2004. They're not that good. Yeah. I know this app. Yeah, with that. with PC building, you really it's like you know you you do things by steps. The very last thing I'm going to install is that GPU. It's your very last thing. So if you yeah. don't know really what order you should go, like yeah, things can get pretty spicy pretty fast. And I'll never forget going to. The, I went to a micro center and the uh -huh. guy was like, "Oh, it'll be it's like adult Legos." I've never wanted to drive three hours just to kick someone in the fucking stomach <laughs> more than I did when I was in hour seven or eight. Thinking, oh, it's like adult Legos, is it? Well, you know, most intense Legos I've ever seen in my life. Hey, but Legos so, be kind of hey. complex sometimes, you know? Fair enough. Yes, there are some cases where Legos are even harder than building a PC, but that's not what I'm talking about. Very different. Very different feeling, at least. No, for sure, dude. For sure. If I, yeah, I mean, if I was building my own PC, and, I'd, I, and even when I built my very first gaming rig, um, I, I watch like three weeks worth of content just to make sure I know what I'm doing before I even touch it. Mm. So I, I definitely See, deep dived reason. into that, but you know, people doing it for the first time and don't really know, like, I understand, like it totally, it does take some time and it's, it is kind of hard to, to mess something up. Like you could be delicate and kind of spooked out and not want to mess anything up, but essentially most things are going to work why uh, I'm such a stickler with fans is like, even if you put the fans in wrong, it's still gonna work, just not very efficiently. Mm -hmm. mm. So it, it is a little bit of a struggle to do something wrong, but it doesn't feel right. like you're doing something right when it takes you 10 hours. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that perfectly you, characterizes my headache. What do you think of this, of the white corners? Look at that, dude. Look, look at that. I don't even. Yeah, it's, a, so, that's, it's beautiful. That's fantastic. So, nah, let's do pink. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Yo, if we had pink, screw no, it. I would no. put it on there. Really? Yeah, look, wow, hey, you don't even really see the white. That's not, that looks pretty good. It doesn't really even poke out. Yeah, you can see it there. That. That's beautiful. That and it good. goes, I think it goes well with the black around it. That's just great. That's just great. Sand cables. Let's get to motherboard installation. Wow, this is it. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. When you put in your motherboard, did you lay the case down? Maybe. A lot of people I do. Uh, I, I get a, I get a lot of it of people being like, why do you not put it down? Why do you not put it down? I thought just for gravitational reasons. <laughs> gravitational purposes. I, I you know, for scientific reasons, I'm you know. You gotta, for scientific reasons. Though, scientific right? reasons. No, I just, uh, to be honest, I just, I don't have to. I see. So that was maybe the coldest answer I've ever heard in my life. I'm just that good. I don't have to. Damn. You're, well, you're making me laugh. Heard it here first. Buddy. Heard it That's here right. first. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Just messing with you. I won't be the cause of the destruction of this PC. I know you can help me support it. Oh, 
Oh, which reminds me, I do. Ha I think I have to hop off at uh, around two o'clock, which is in another ten minutes. Is that okay. is that gonna be okay? No, that's totally cool, man. If you if you can come back on, of course you can always come back on. But if you're busy, you know the vibe will be always be there. Uh, it's like a family. But no worries. What well, I, I I gotta ask? They keep saying they're charging you for some, they're they're adding to your charges. Is that an inside joke? Yeah. Uh, supposedly, I got a I got a long list of uh, charges that they're gonna sue me off over. Oh, okay. Yeah, no yeah. Legal action. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I haven't been served yet, but one of these days, someone's going to come through this window right here, this door, and, and serve me some papers. <laughs> little manila envelope. Yeah, so <laughs> we get a knock on that door. We You'll know be, why. You got this. You got this. I trust your uh, legal know-how. Yeah, I'm going to go in there and just uh, represent myself. Listen, it's worked a few times in the past. <laughs> I just good for the reasons. confidence, bro. You're, it worked a few times That's in the right. past. I told you, I'm an optimist. That's the one thing I can offer. That's that's what I'm here for. I can't do a damn thing with that PC, but I can I can give you the emotional support to get through yourself. I can tell you, yo, you can do it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Sometimes that's, that's it. Case closed. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> it was a good buck. Now don't laugh now. You're gonna drop the whole thing and then you have to start right over. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like this little peg that goes in this screw hole that for some reason isn't lining up for me. Not every case uses the same motherboard screws, because they don't feel right. Really? Yeah. So what do you do? You have to... That's ridiculous. So you have to find the right screw based off the feeling? Yeah, and they don't really tell you. As you can tell, these are just unnamed bats. No label. Great. Nothing. So you just have to figure it out. That's probably so much fun to decipher for yourself. Oh, yeah, I dude. Imagine. With all the different like builds and stuff that I have to do. It's a good time. You're a trooper. If no one's told you that today, I'll tell, I'll tell you that now. I have no problem letting you know that. Dude, the optimism is flowing. I most I mainly get on here and I just hear about how I'm going to get sued a thousand times. You're over here. You're bringing out some good Yeah, that's got to get stressful. You got <laughs> Threatening legal action probably doesn't help uh, morale. Does not help the vibes. Not often, I imagine. You streaming today? I uh, I'm streaming at the moment. I um, I think I think I d ended up having I have more work to do, which is always funny to say as an actor because that basically just means um. Uh, phone calls uh, from people that are telling you where things are and what they're doing. Yeah. Um, but people have to explain it in a way that I can then make an informed decision thereafter, and that usually takes a long time. But um, I'm gonna do some. I have to do some work, and then, like I said, I have to go learn uh, Krav Maga uh, one step at a time. And then, uh, yeah. So if I have time, probably in the evening, I might, I might, I might run it back. Because I didn't. I did play it. I wish I could do it. Now I want to play Arkham Knight. See, that's the real thing. Is yeah, these three larks for a job, but more cool. That's exactly what acting is. It's just live action role playing. That's it. <laughs> Emphasis on the live. Live, exactly. 
I'm not sure if voice actor, and then it's this whole other. You mostly on the screen. You ever thought about doing like voiceover work or anything like that? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a big anime fan. Yeah. I would love to like have my own animated property or something where I can, you know, try it out at the very least. But uh, as of right now, I, you know, careers are very fickle and you have to dedicate yourself to like progressing. And I feel like if I sidetracked what was going on on live action screen to like pursue something else it just might might convolute things so i'm like yeah. there's a time for it as of right now i'm like I, I i have a set call it a slate i have to see that slate through to the end and then i can kind of afford some wiggle room so to speak for sure you don't ever want to overconfident yourself and stretch yourself self too thin that's right are you good what you straight? Oh. Yeah? Okay. All right. How about this? You go get them. Wow. You didn't lay that PC down even once. Nope. And the freaking center peg too was also fighting you to help you like line the motherboard up uh, a lot of higher end cases will have like a little peg through here that will kind of just hold oh, it yeah. in place and then everything lines up but a lot of times what i find out is this peg is like not really centered right even though all the no. other holes so i had to <laughs> for that to fit through i had to screw it all in and then move this peg over it and go through so and it, it worked the opposite way that's maybe as counterproductive as it gets. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I would have would prefer just a screw there, and I could have just screwed it in easy. Right. You know, if you guys are trying to help, and you should have just done that. Is that a French bulldog? Yeah, that was Iggy, the Frenchie, the crackhead Frenchie. Bless him. <laughs> Keeping the house safe, one male worker at a time. You only have one. I only have one, and even this one I didn't necessarily plan to have, but he's, uh -huh. he's my best friend, and dearly. Usually with people with Frenchies, they, they, they always want to have like two or three of them. That's, that, that would be good. I would love to get him a friend, but yeah. uh, I have a difficult enough time getting him looked after while I'm out of town, as okay. is. I'm like, I don't know if I can do a second one. I just complicate things. Maybe someday. I someday. Someday. Bam. Oh. Well, what you think so far? Looking like we're we're making some progress. I, th I, th I think to say anything other than spectacular would be a lie. This looks, uh, first of all, looks better than uh, anything I could build and also in a fraction of the time. So <laughs> any positive sentiment I have would only be compounded, compounded by the fact that you do it a million times faster than me or anyone else I know, clearly. Oh, it took me so quick. The visual to time ratio is on point, is what you're saying. That's right, exactly. You get what you pay for, <laughs> which is experience. Put that fan in. So you said at two your time you're gonna have to step away. I'm yeah I'm waiting I'm waiting for them to actually call me. Okay. I am if I haven't made it clear I am learning a lot uh, just watching mm -hmm. very visual learner. I'm literally getting the phone call right now. All right. Um, I'll I'll try to be back but if not hey thank you so much for having me and thank you for putting this time and effort in this thing looks unbelievably great.
No, I absolutely, really man. Of course, you know, this is an honor, of course, to build to build this for you. So if you can come in, I mean, you can whisper me on here or message us on Instagram and I'll get the ding and I'll add you right back in. Uh, but if not, the VOD will be up and you can check it out after I turn it on. I am going to turn it on on stream so we can see it. Hey, hey, that's what's up. Oh, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. All right. Um, here's hope. Listen, I'd rather be in here. No offense to the person I'm talking to on the phone. Hopefully they're not watching that. But um, yeah. either way, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll, I'll hit you up real soon. No worries, man. Take it easy. Good luck on the phone call. You too. Do I just hit leave stream together? I am worried about that, like, absolutely decimating the stream itself. Is that no, right? no, I think you're straight. I think you should just end the backstage. You should be good. All right, y'all. Bless you. See you soon. Later, bro. Eddie is gone. What up, everybody? That's a very important phone call to get. Should be up and Adam should be here. What up? All right. Well, now that we don't have another voice, um, I will uh, put back a little bit of music so we can uh, hang out. Hang out and chill. I'm sorry for anybody that's gone in here lately. I did not say hello. Hello now. What up? Let me know if it's too loud, of course. I did have it really low. All right. They just said, welcome back. I am back. I'm here. Sorry, I was preoccupied. But welcome in. As you see, we are building Mason Gooden's PC today. Before I put in the AIO, definitely going to plug in the EPS cables. Do not want to plug those in after the fact. You will be very sad. Banger said he seems so cool. He does. Very much so. Chill down. And as uh, Batsy has put it, chilled. But yes, then hopefully you come back so you can see the PC turn on. Always like to have the recipient of the PC here for the post test, of course. Glad you were here for yours. I'm just pulling out all the cables I need. Put in both. of the EPS cables. Well, now that I have you all here, let's go back to that Steam, uh, the Steam Deck conversation. That OLED limited edition looks sick. I would definitely would want to pick one up. I know it was going to be selling out, so there was no reason for me to get my hopes up. Even if I was going to purchase it, I knew it was going to sell out. But it doesn't stop me from wanting. You feel me? It's getting a little dark in here. It's very rainy outside. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very rainy and dark and gloomy. Fishy, it's still crazy that a lot of celebs are getting PCs. Glad we got out. A very excited guest. Uh, it, it's kind of weird how it, it all starts. One gets a PC. They're obviously jealous of how it looks to come over. And, uh, and then everybody else wants one. Because they can't be shown up. They can't be shown up now. Fisher, it's limited. How much is it? So there is a, a limited edition version of the OLED, uh, which had uh, it was tra the casing is translucent gray, and it has red accents. It just looks dope, uh, super super dope. But that's that's why they made it limited edition. Now there's still regular OLEDs that it might be available, and they're they were for sale too. But that limited edition was sick. I think it was like, am I wrong? Was it like eight hundred bucks? I think it was like eight hundred dollar dues um, for for that limited edition. I knew it was gonna sell out quick. Cause that's just how it goes. You said the sound is still low. My phone is all the way up and I hear it. Is the music loud, but I am low? Maybe? But um, am I whispering for anybody else too? Because I can turn myself up for sure. Now Mason, I did have his volume all the way up. Maybe he could, um, maybe he could turn it up next time he comes on. But I can understand it. Maybe I, I'm low on like um, phone speaker volume because that was good. Low. But I can uh, turn down the music a little bit. It's a little too loud. How about that? Let me know. Like how y'all were exposing me on the live. Just exposing me out here. Oh, look who's leaving. The exposer herself. I'll see you next time. We had to. Got to expose.
That was root. What did I do? And who's Lewis? Who is that? He didn't even start the expose. Jacuz. Jacuz. Jacuze. Later, Fishay. Have a great weekend. See you the next one. Uh, let's step back a little bit, Kitty. So you said um, your Odin 2 uh, you won't be getting for another month? Jacuz. Lamar, is this 7800 XT uh, GPU good? Sure. Um, AMD GPUs aren't necessarily bad, um, especially with certain titles, you can get good price to performance. It's just if you want all that extra stuff like DLSS and ray tracing, that those AMD GPUs just don't have. They have their own versions of DLSS, uh, their own version FSR or whatever. Um, that's supposed to be pretty crazy when it comes out. Uh, three years was it I don't know just another version of interpolation uh, but if you want all those bells and whistles like ray tracing you kind of have to go with NVIDIA and kitty yes sir I need to see if I got my email on it yet but I doubt it my number oh crap <laughs> 1100 in line uh, but that's cool why'd you go for the Odin just curious Everything lines up before I put thermal paste on it. Yeah, looks good. With all these motherboards having really chonky heat sinks now, these coolers sometimes don't fit. But everything lines up great. So let's go ahead and put some goop on there. Look how chunky this AIO is. Rad's thick. 
and then these thicker uh, Noxio fans. I mean, the thickness is still 25 millimeters, which is like any other Churchill fans. It just looks so much chunkier. Go ahead and put some goop on here. We got some MX5 that they come with. This stuff is pretty loosey goosey, so I don't have to put a lot. Stuff that's like weird. And some parts in there kind of separate. Just make sure I smooth out so that way there's no air pockets either. Don't want that. Shake fingers. Hand check. Goop. Oh, oh, my sword fell. It's a goop on that CPU. Or not a bad combo. Not a bad combo. Hey, Kitty, play all PS2 and GameCube, some Switch and some Wii. Always wanted a handheld that I could handle. PS2, no problem. So I had to get one and also at a good price. I mean, they had the, uh, what is it, the GDP win or whatever it's called. Those could play PS2 games, but those are like a grip. Uh, but how much is a, a uh, Odin to be? Definitely like to play a PS2 game. What I definitely would want is a way to play old 2005 and um god of war old ps2 game be sick on the go that's why i'm just wanting a, a stream deck so badly no rush of course but there it is there's a peel so cold plate is exposed Uh, this the connection on it is actually pretty simple it just has one pump header that's it and it does power the uh, fans too the fans hook up to a two fan headers that come off of these uh, tubes that which is why it has these wrinkly uh, tube fabric on top so it's just hiding that that core that goes through He said you got the mid-tier one because you won't be playing too much Switch on it. So it's about 400 with shipping. I mean, uh, a PC would do that. So it really depends on what kind of games. But, I mean, just having the ability to have the PS2 library, GameCube library at your disposal uh, sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That sounds pretty good.
Oof, you know what I just <laughs> realized putting this on? Since this <laughs> rad and, and fan combo is so thick, uh, I can't see those plugs up there. So plugging in the, the pump cable is going to be a bit of a struggle. That's going to be fun. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Not bad. We have to organize this cable a little bit better, but I won't fix out it, fixate on it now. But I'm definitely gonna fix that. But with that being in, uh, it's the fun part. Too bad Mason couldn't come in and enjoy the fun of cable managing. It's the best part. Well, if you go with a frost build, what case would it be? Uh, right now, I think it is still the 011 dynamic and you have an option to go the 011 dynamic evo which is just the newer the newer build uh there's some bells and whistles there mainly for customization but really you can add one more fan in the back and which we do include and uh we might i don't know i don't know if we are going to be going with the corsair links we did we did uh build with a corsair link just to see and it did cut down on so much cabling so i don't know if that's gonna be an option or not but of course, anybody can ask for it, but we did try it just to see what it would do and, um, or how it goes, and it's not bad. But we are planning on changing it to the, uh, the H9, but I think right now the H9 is a little bit difficult to get, so I don't think we made that change yet. And kid, yes, whenever you get a PC, you can play more Switch games. So the fact that you can play GameCube and stuff, that's, that's pretty good. In my opinion.
there are no cutouts up here for any cabling. Uh, the only one is this one here on the end, which definitely does make things a bit more difficult. I forgot that this case doesn't have that. Because uh, last time I built it, I used all the Infinity Mirror fans. Um, so the, uh, the Lee and Lee Infinity SL or AL is one of those. Forgot. So those I didn't have to really worry about cabling. But it's just going to make it a little harder for me to run this. So I can't grab it. Right now I have the pump on the CPU, oh no, the AIO pump header. So I do need something in that CPU fan header so that way it doesn't give me that stupid warning. I got my dab tooth. For instance, you're going for a custom ice maiden. Uh, what custom parts do you want to use? Adjust these fan cables so they're just plugged right into the fan power cable that comes out of the AIO. And also, uh, these Noxo fans have basically their plug is like that big. See on the top camera, like that big. So you add an extension to make them longer. So that was perfect for the rad because I can just plug it into there and I don't have a bunch of cabling that I have to manage. Since you say you got the parts on PC part picker, you're going for the Kraken, all right? So for an LCD, an NZXT LCD screen AIO, and you're going to go, uh, oh, of course, there's RGB RAM. Yeah, well, that's, that's default our D5 RAM. Uh, when anybody gets DDR5, that's our default DDR5 RAM. Uh, so you're straight on that, unless there's a different capacity you want. We do the, we do 32 gigs um, default for DDR5. I had to move out the rats I can get into here so I can manage this cable. I can actually manage this cable with more. Right 
friends say, say yes, you're gonna go 32 gigs. I think 32 gigs is the norm now, honestly. I think anybody going to, I, I, I mean, I personally haven't seen a 16 gig DDR5 kit. I don't, I don't doubt that they exist, but I personally haven't seen any. Okay, like I mentioned, the RAM doesn't really, getting more RAM doesn't necessarily give you more frames or more performance, but it allows Windows to know that you have more resources so you can give out more resources to things that need them like video games. So if you only had 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, uh, obviously it knows it can't go higher than that. So it's going to allocate certain resources to certain things, but if you give it a higher ceiling, then it knows it can give a little bit more out. So like, since I have 32 gigs, I can see certain games will use like 15 to 16 gigs of RAM. Obviously, if that was my max, it wouldn't go that high, but it knows it can, so it just gives it a little bit more. For instance, it's possible to get custom PSU sleeves or sleeve cables, otherwise I just do the white and pink Reaper cables. If there's a certain cable pack that you like, yeah, we can do it. Um, we don't like sleeve our own cables and we don't use cables that are sleeved from the power supply just extensions now to get custom sleeving i think corsair has that or uh, i know cable mods you can put in your power supply and uh it'll uh, basically know what the pin layout is and, and make you specialized cables for that you can also do that too and um, there's other companies too that actually will actually make them the perfect length like they'll ask you for all your hardware and what power supply you're going to use what case what hardware and they'll actually perfectly link every cable for that um, that's huge in mini itx because obviously the cases are smaller so it's it's huge in 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 that in that field can i sneak a cable through there we'll see You think we're doing white, pink, and blue, like cotton candy kind of? I mean, if it exists, sure. Put the red back. The only thing I would say is obviously make sure it's from a, a reputable uh, brand or you do trust it obviously with anything that's ordered outside of what we normally use isn't going to be um, included in our warranty just because if it's a little bit weird like we've had people send us GPUs that are either used or they bought themselves since they're sourced somewhere else we can't necessarily back it because we just don't know. But since it is going to be something that um, you know, delivers power to your hardware, just make sure it is from a good brand or trusted. I love that they use that. The, uh, 
not static, the feedback off cell phones. Dominic Shortbow, nice, nice name. Uh, how's my PC specs? You have a 7700X, a RTX 4070, and 32 gigs of DDR5 and a five terabyte storage. Uh, five TVs is definitely a lot. Um, I guess you got some sweet deals, but um, five terabytes of storage is not needed necessarily. Uh, but it's, I guess it's nice. But everything else at 77 with the RTX 4070, that's a decent 1440p machine right there. Uh, but if you're playing in 1440p high refresh rate, you set. If you're not, do it. Right, that's the only thing that scares me. I don't want to get it from a shady place. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Trust. So Fractal included some cable management Velcro strips and route here. Let's see if I can use it. Let's see. Or bow ended up with five TBs because of the amount of storage games are taken up and I have many downloaded shows on my PC nice you got some downloaded shows I do have an, an external so I bought like a um, it's basically like an external hard drive but you buy a two and a half inch SSD and you can slot it in there and then you can use that as like a big flash drive um, I have one of those that is about like three terabytes um, or four that I, I put all my downloaded shows on uh, on my main system, I only have three terabytes. So one TV for my main um, boot drive, and then two for my external for games. Because games are huge. Games are huge. Games are pretty big. But I don't keep a lot of them installed. So that's why I don't really need any more storage, because I'm not really going to keep... If I have like a game that's taken up, let's say, 120 gigs, and I haven't touched it in a month, it just kind of feels wrong for me to take up that much space on an NVMe drive that, you know, having more storage, uh, NVMe's do degrade over time. So just having something like that, that's just kind of using up some cells. I don't know, for me, I just delete them. I just delete them. If I do want to play it again, I'll just re-download it. As long as you have good enough internet, you can do things like that, but if your internet is a struggle, I understand. For sure, bro. if you uh, ask me how the PC, I mean, what do you play? What do you normally play on your PC? ROs, what up, bruh? Can I ask something about GPUs? Of course, go ahead, shoot. And short bow, you said a lot of games like Cyberpunk, Baldur's Gate, Diablo, Battle Bit, Battle Bit, nice dude, and quite a lot more. Uh, what what resolution do you run at? At what frame rate? Nice on the Battle Bit. Oh, man, I haven't bat I haven't bit in a while. It's always a good time.
Trevor, right now you have a uh, 1080p high refresh rate, but definitely need a 1440p monitor soon. Definitely, bro. Uh, get 1440p at least 144, but you could definitely find 165. I use a 165 inch, uh, 165 inch. I use a 165 hertz monitor myself. I use a 32 inch curved uh, 1440p 165 hertz monitor, and it's, it's my. It's definitely my uh, my default. I don't I don't think I ever go back down from that. Uh, in both categories, I would love to have a 4K monitor, but I will probably only have one if it's my secondary. I won't make it my main. Yours, you say you want to buy a Gigabyte 4080 Eagle. Okay, should I go for an ASUS model or the difference is minimal because the price point is 200 difference? There is no difference. The 4080, that die, is the same on every GPU. The only thing that changes by uh, brand partners are the cooling and the design. But uh, performance, no. There'll be little differences here on the overclock uh, default that they'll have set, but that means nothing. So it's there's no difference. The reason why ASUS is more is because it's ASUS. That is the only reason. If you're going to be buying a gigabyte, uh, you're set. You're good. He said, oh, I see you spread it out. Nice. What, what's spreading out? What's going on? You got me nervous now. What are we spreading? the auto so this is going to spread over here so this zip tie here Girls, you're not wrong. Um, NVIDIA just is a little bit more reliable. Uh, definitely with like drivers and stuff. As a PC building company, of course, uh, we have ran into everything and what we have noticed is definitely NVIDIA is a lot more stable. Um, and of course with NVIDIA, you get, our, you get ray tracing, which is not something you get in AMD. Um, you just get those RT cores. And DLSS, which of course AMD has its own version, but it's just not as as good as as DLSS. Hence the uh, Starfield hate. Your studio driver, yes. So yeah, if you're going to be working with the GPU, yeah, that that too can also be a uh, a point. People that just want to game, game on a budget, um, like what I always mention um, with people here. That uh, so I have a, a racing rig. If I were to build just a PC for the rig, which I do with just VR, um, I only play and I only race in VR. Um, I would I would probably preferably get a AMD card because of the VRAM, which is nice for VR and the raw horsepower. So they have raw horsepower, and I don't necessarily need ray tracing or anything like that for VR and racing. So there I would have it. But my main rig I would still go for Nvidia, so I can have all the bells and whistles like ray tracing. Uh, but also, you know, you guys heard supers are going to be coming out soon, too.
Charvel did not hear that AMD does worse with VR. I mean, I'm definitely not going to disagree with that because um, I actually, I don't know. I've never heard of that, um, but I, I wouldn't disagree. I guess it would depend on what game because also and with AMD and, and NVIDIA, depending on what game you play, they'll have higher FPS on either or. Um, but for racing, racing isn't, nowadays isn't that taxing on, on hardware. It was on my 2070 Super for sure. Um, the, I, I don't, I won't see it being too difficult. I've never, I've actually never heard of that, but I, I definitely don't disagree. It could be possible depending on what game you play. Like maybe you play Half-Life Alex or something. The, uh, the AMD GPU kind of struggles. Maybe. You're also, when you said cooling, if the Eagle has issues with cooling, can I fix it later with replacing the fans or something? No. So those... Unless you custom loop it, you can't adjust or not adjust, but you can't replace or change anything like that. Those the shrouds that are built on there, they're built on there. If you're worried about cooling, I mean, mainly cooling is going to be attributed to your case. Um, do you have enough fans? Do you have the fans ported correctly? Do you have enough airflow or what room you're in? Is it cool enough? That's going to be more um, more influential to your cooling on your GPU other than the fans that are on there. Um, unless you're going to custom loop it, which is other pain. But uh, if I mean, you can look it up. Look up uh, the Gigabyte Eagle versus like the Aero version. Um, see if there's a better cooling on that, and then maybe for a work workflow when you're using or, and rendering for a long period of time, where it really saturates that that cooling solution, the uh, you know the heatsink. Um, check it out. See what other people say. But you can't like change it or anything. No, you can't change. You can make the run fans run faster or harder. That's it. Turbo, oh yeah, supers. And what the fart is a TI Super? I don't know, but I gotta be honest with you. If they come out and say that this is an RTX 4070 TI Super, I might buy it. Just for the meme. Just for the meme and I'm a profit in my system. Yours, where can I find reliable data? Just YouTube, bro. Just YouTube. There's gotta be somebody out there um, that's that's put the the temp over time under load on various cards but i have used the eagle 4080 and it is a pretty chunky heatsink We were thinking about going with the uh, all the pro art the pro art is definitely just because of the design um, it's definitely upcharged for that uh, across all <laughs> all gens so this we have the 4070 ti pro art here if you want to see what it looks like uh, when i pull it out stick around but yeah no you're talking about the pro art pro art is it is upcharged because it is a pro art no doubt At this point, you could get a cheap 490 and pay 150 more. That is true. Um, if you're talking about gaming, the difference between 1440p on a 4080 and a 4090 are minimal. There's not really much more to gain from going 4080 and 4090 uh, because it's kind of kind of relying on the, the game itself and, and the processor. So there's more, but it's not like significantly more. Now doing 4K is that's where it changes. Um, if you're going to be rendering, that's where it changes. So if, if you're going to be doing 4K content, then it is worth it. Yes. Short bow, you've been very happy with the 4070, but some people wrote trash talking and saying it would be a 4060 at 300 bucks. Yada yada. Don't worry about it. Um, 4070 is good. 4070 is a good price. Uh, I do wish it was a little bit cheaper, of course, but that's just the market all in all. But a 4070 
the 70 tier has always been an enthusiast grade card like that is the 1440p uh, monster so uh, no doubt with the ti stuff or the super stuff coming out hopefully prices go down with what's out and then just replaced with that price bracket of the super version that would be that would be definitely ideal Yours, why would I get a pro art version myself? Um, I don't. So this build right here is for Mason Gooding, the actor Mason Gooding. Uh, he was here earlier hanging out. Unfortunately, he did have a phone call. Super busy, obviously, an actor. Um, so uh, this is his themed build, black and gold. So it's perfect for the Asus pro art because it just looks that nice with a nice uh, black um, and with gold accents around. So it matches the build perfectly. That's why we're using a pro art here because this is a black and gold aesthetic build. Uh, would I go for one personally? Unless my build calls for it, for aesthetics, I wouldn't. Buying a GP for work, been working with 4K since 2016. So yeah, 4090 would be more beneficial, for sure. Yours, do you have a four star there on the table? Of course, it's right here. I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I basically know everything there is to know about DBZ. I see. Thanks, but I do appreciate it. No problem. No problem. When it comes to hardware, you really want the best thing is to get what you need for your use case. So, if you are going to be rendering 4K content, 4090 is more beneficial. 150 bucks more, you might as well. If it's for work, if it's going to repay, it pay you back. Do it. It's going to pay for itself. Do it because trust me, we work with. Um, Desi uh, graphic design companies that do a lot of rendering and uh, we have been filling them out with 4090s and then destroying the old quattros um, like the 8000s and stuff obviously there's the new ones the uh, quattro rtx's or whatever those bricks of gold which are beautiful but they're hella expensive so it's cheaper to go to a 4090 that can also churn some stuff So I'm going to slot in the power supply now. You say you're going to get a 4080 and I replace it with a 490 once you get a new mobile and CPU. Oh, that's also a big, big thing too. I mean, what CPU are you using right now? And you say you have one on your table too? Nice, nice, dude, nice. This 4070 I should use the 12 pin cable. I'm just half tempted to open it just so I can make sure. Open. No, I don't, I don't have anything to power through SATA. Actually, this is going to be pretty easy cabling. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Close to the rear. Amateur. Short boy, you were just saying GPU market is crazy. But CPU market, been great with AMD and Intel being neck and neck during this time. So more better choices for multi-core. I'll agree with you there. Um... With the release of the 3D chips, definitely when it comes to gaming performance, I, I was definitely up for that. I was like, dude, this, that's actually pretty nice. Um, I was hoping for Intel to come out with their own version. I don't know if maybe they'll still will. With the 15, I know the 15 is going to be a completely different architecture. Uh, 13 and 14 with just refreshes of 12. Overclocked with more cores, so just hotter. Uh, so let's, let's see what happens there. Uh, but I would say with AMD, 5000 series, yeah, pretty solid. But with the new 7, there is horsepower there, there is performance there, but it is just a little bit iffy um, right now. So when they work out the kinks in, a, in about a year, like next year, I'll say AMD will probably be pretty strong there. So this is going to go in here. Let me just 
so I'll connect this. Put in here now you're gonna want me to use. You already bought the PC in 2017. You got a 7700K overclocked uh, with a 1080 Ti. Did an upgrade because I was working in the studios. I realized the PC. Uh, started realizing now we'll get the 14th gen i9KS and overclock it when a KS comes out for it. Uh, yeah, no, 7700K. Yeah, I really, uh, I wouldn't put a 49 on that either. Even with the 4080, you're definitely going to be missing out on some performance there, but not too much. But it, 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 it's going to be noticeable. Uh, noticeable when you do get the 14 Gen i9 that you will see an, in, an incredible uh, performance jump. Weaponized toaster oven. Nice name. That's some clean cable management. Thank you. Really, thank you. And welcome into the stream. Oh, no you don't. I have to plug this cable in before the power supply. How dare you? Well. We were thinking about getting two 4080s. Um, if you're rendering, yeah, you could do that. I mean, the only thing going to be limiting there is to make sure what mo you pick out a good motherboard just so you have enough PCIe lanes to utilize most of those GPUs. Sure, boat, you went with AM5 because better platform support, Soja. I had no use for E cores anyways, plus E cores on the 7700X is more than enough for most users. Heck, most users are fine with six, depending on what game, for sure. Um, I'll say it was definitely needed uh, at one point when Intel, um, around that, that 77 and, and 8700K mark, um, that generation, definitely it needed A cores. But with the E cores and P cores, uh, you can get away with just like a six, uh, a 610 or, or a, uh, you know, the i5s, you can get away with that now. Uh, but AMD just went with the traditional, just giving powerful cores, which is totally fine. And you said, if you do that, do I need two Eagles or can I mix and match? You can mix and match, but I think at that point you'll be going against size. Like if they fit. Weaponized toaster. What is my English? Where did it go? Well, you've always wanted to upgrade, but you have an old Dell right now. No worries. No worries. Only thing you've been looking at is a low profile 1050 Ti or 1650. I don't know which one would be better. The 1650 would be better, uh, but uh, maybe you can squeeze it, maybe a 3050 if it fits. And, and of course, power supply. Remember, power supply does play a, a huge factor. Have you seen some of AMD's crazy server CPUs? Yes, I've seen some of them. Um, AMD's when it comes to like workforce, like workstations, you know, some workhorses, uh, they're pretty impressive. They're definitely pretty impressive. 
Um, I still mess with a few thread rippers in certain companies. They're still using them for uh, rendering. How about the RX 6600? They run around the same price. Again, features. With the 3050, you at least get that um, deal assess. Can't do a high TDP GPU. I can see that. Probably pretty limited on the uh, power supply. I wonder why they put a... Oh, I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing you said 46 Ti. Pro at 16 gigs, 4080. Uh, is the same and 24 in the uh, yeah so uh, I mean it all depends how fast that memory runs they give a lot of memory slower memory on lower end cards and then just give the higher end cards kind of the same amount of memory but more processing power so it can run through information faster instead of just trying to store it and go through it so there's definitely a balance there and depending on what you're doing with the card you might want more VRAM rather than just faster processing uh, so i think this is it i think this is the cabling this is so much easier than i thought uh, i should have known that when i don't have any rgb or anything don't have a lot of cables and controllers that i have to mess with so let me just plug in the type c Forty sixty. Oh no, there's two versions of the forty sixty Ti uh, Euro. So there is a eight gig version and a sixteen gig version, um, regardless if it's Pro or not. So Nvidia did release a eight gig and sixteen gig version of the forty sixty Ti. Pro it does have the sixteen gig version, uh, but there are two versions out there. So it's not just specific to uh, Pro Art. No worries. That's, that's more of a NVIDIA shenanigans. I don't know what they're doing. Like when they made a 4070 Ti because everybody yelled that that other 4080 was just a uh, 4070 Ti. Quit fooling us. And even like that, stuff like that, that's, you know, that's what confuses people that are new. That want to get into PC gaming, but like it's kind of hard to jump into something like that. Short bow, honestly, the 460 needs more VRAM, maybe 10 gigs. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I think at that point, it's not the GPU. It's these games that are not well optimized that are just chewing through VRAM, especially these console ports. So I am definitely not, I'm not disagreeing with you, but it's unfortunate, unfortunate you have to have that because of how these games are, are developed and running. All right, that is my cable management. Everything is plugged in. So yeah, that's easy. Everything just kind of in line over here. Being plugged into the board. So let's turn it around. There is one last piece to the puzzle, and that is the ASUS Pro Art. That's what we were just talking about.
Thank you, Dangerous. Yours, will this be an open case, clear side? Yeah, so this has a, I took off all the panels, of course, building it. Um, but this is going to have, this is the Fractal North, so this has wood paneling in the front and a, a tinted glass um, side panel and a mesh top. Um, and it, the aesthetic is black and gold. And there are the manuals and the little gaming card that gives you the little collector's card. In here is a 2, 8 to 12 pin if you don't have an ATX 3.0 power supply. And this random thick old uh, Roco strip from Asus. Sure, well, you're probably right. Um, of course, it's an APU, so it does have to share memory. There's nothing really dedicated, really. I mean, they say that, but it's it's not truly dedicated um, memory to the GPU. So it's, it's still an APU situation going on. Here is the ProArt. Black with gold aesthetic, of course, with a little ProArt logo there. And this is the bottom. This is the side. The logo. And the top. IO is pretty much the same. Three display ports, one HDMI. I think I think newer GPUs need to start coming with two HDMIs. Um, like I said, for VR, it would be so much nicer. So let me do some peels. Toaster, it, it, it will be kind of difficult because of that 4770. Um, being fourth gen um, and DDR5, you could you could probably squeeze in a uh, like a 1660 or something, uh, but going 30 series or 40 series is definitely out of your realm, even if you had the power supply for it. Just because the processor just just won't it would just be struggling to try to keep up with that GPU, and that GPU would probably be like 30% utilized, which means the CPU is not giving it enough information. So it's just chilling, hanging back. <laughs> Euros, see? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Especially when it's when you're using it for work. Is it necessary? There is a peel on top, but I'll peel it after I mount it. Push it until you hear that click.
go ahead and put everything together. I find out how. Found it. Top on. Put the front panel on. We are done. And of course, we're going to go see if this baby post. Here is the peel on the AIO. If you guys didn't believe it, I took it off. And there it is. I always like to leave it out just in case. So let's put everything away. Clean up my area. Let's do it on. Screw, I don't like that. That must be that motherboard screw that fell. Yep. If you ever hear a loose screw in your PC, do not leave it in there. You could arc something. Or short something out. No, there's not RGB in this build, so it's really not really going to tell you. Uh, once I turn it on that it's operating um, other than the post screen just got my power cable so it's not going to be a gigantic reveal but once you see it on it be worth it Lights off. Oh, lights off. Bring it to me. So I flip the switch. I'm waiting for the caps to juice up. I'm just gonna send it. Too bad Mason's gonna miss it, but Mason, future Mason. Uh, I hope this goes well. All right, spans are spinning, sorry. You can, can't really tell when it's on. All right, motherboard's gonna go through all those checks and balances. It could boot loop a little bit since it is a 13th gen. This is a Z790, so clear on the BIOS. Trying to 
moving. Some air. Holy crap. There's a loop. Sorry, turn off. Well, I guess. I guess I don't really need the lights off then. Really. Not RGB. <laughs> Also like the little power button or uh, power light. So there's a loop. Uh, it just shines uh, gold on top. I think it's dope. I think it's pretty dope. Oh, there's the first screen. Uh, we had two boot loops there with RGB, obviously you can tell, but uh, right now there's another one. It basically gave me the CPU slash memory has changed. You get that warning on your first uh, post because it's the first time a CPU or uh, CPU or RAM has ever been installed on this board. So it makes sense. It makes sense for that. Just it, it, it probably does scare people on their first uh, on their first post to be like, what does that mean? Is this motherboard used? Who used my motherboard? There it is. There is my post. So I, yeah, like I said, I might as well just turn the lights. I don't have any RGB in this. Uh, but there, there's my post. CPU's chilling right now at 35 just because it was obviously thinking pretty hard um, for the post. And it's going to probably pretty low on the uh, pump header. But all 32 gigs are being read. Uh, this BIOS is from uh, July 10th. And it does know that it has a 13700K. We did it. Kind of uh, a slow post there. Definitely maybe made some of y'all nervous. Not me, for sure. Yeah, no, definitely not me. But it's on. Mason's on. This, this right here will be in your casa. All right. So now that I have this done, of course, when I get out of here, it has to get a QC for the QC fraud. What's going to happen? They're going to double check. I installed all the right parts, make sure it's all done correctly. And of course, double check my cable management in the back to make sure it is as best as I could do it. And we all know it is. Um, after a past QC gets me over to a testing area, very first thing I'm going to do is get into this BIOS here, update it to the latest version, and then hit this magical XMP profile one button there to XMP that RAM so you can take full use of it. After that, we install Windows 11. Windows 11, extremely recommended for these newer Intels because P and E cores, Windows 10 just not, does not know what to do with those P and E cores. Just, just doesn't know how to work with them. Um, after that, we go ahead and install all necessary drivers that are tied to that board, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet, um, audio, chipset, etc. And of course the NVIDIA driver as well, the latest version. Uh, there's definitely been a few NVIDIA driver updates lately. Uh, so if you haven't updated your stuff in a while, uh, definitely definitely go ahead and, uh, and do that. So you can get full use of your GPU. And if you're gonna play some new games, you're gonna need those game ready drivers. After that, we go ahead and install any RGB software that is necessary. Not necessary here, so we'll be installing that. Um, on top of that, we go ahead and stress test. So we stress test here for at least two hours straight for our stress testing. There are three major tests. Two of them are GPU intensive test, just rendering tests to make sure that GPU knows what it's doing. And then the last test is a CPU stress test, which kind of just pegs that CPU at 100% for two reasons. One, it's testing out to make sure that CPU is good. And two, testing out the cooling solution to make sure it is sufficient for whenever, if ever, this CPU goes ahead and just gets peg all the way at a hundred percent it can go ahead and pick up the slack and and control the temp and go ahead and move 
the heat away from that CPU and dissipate it, get rid of it, make sure the cooling solution is sufficient, essentially. Um, with those tests, as long as everything goes good for two hours, then it's ready to go. But if anything goes wrong, any weird crashes, blue screens, weird sounds, weird smells, uh, anything funky going on, we go ahead and stop that test, re-diagnose it, see what's going on, and then replace whatever is faulty, um, and then retest it again for another two hours. Now, everything I did not use, so everything in here, all these uh, cables and stuff that I have uh, will all get sent with the PC, so maybe just in case later on Mason wants to upgrade anything or install anything new. Can, I know he was talking about doing an Elgato card there, which we do have room there uh, for the Elgato card, so you are straight, Mason. Um, on top of that, of course, this Asus stuff, all the fun little Asus stuff that they give you to kind of uh, <laughs> kind of show why their stuff is more expensive. It's all going to get sent with the PC. But we did it. We did it. It's done. Uh, it's sleepy time because it gets dark at like 4 o'clock now. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it to me. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is, if you wasn't here at the beginning, this is uh, Mason Gooding. Um, I love this gift. I thought it was hilarious. I asked him if I could use it, and he said definitely do it. So, uh, cool guy, cool guy. It's definitely cool guy. Chill. Uh, he does stream on YouTube. He's going to be streaming on Twitch now on this beast here. So, please go ahead and go follow him fan of the show uh, but i am out it is friday it's sleepy time out there i'm out of here peace i'll be back next week um i don't think anything crazy going on next week but you never know you never know um let's go ahead and see i'll go ahead and be here on tuesday 2 p.m central regular time i should be here uh the holiday season is going to start picking up i don't know how that's going to affect my streams uh, I definitely will have content to stream, but I don't know if I'll be able to go ahead and sit down and actually stream. So I don't know. I don't know yet what's going to happen. We definitely have a lot of orders coming in. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Hopefully there are no breaks in my stream. So we can keep hanging out, chilling, showing people their PCs being built. So I am out of here. Peace, everybody. Have a great weekend. You guys just have a great, great weekend. Thank you all for hanging out for me with me and Mason. Super cool guy. Super chill. Uh, super down to earth. Obviously, if you didn't know now, his father is Cuba Gooding Jr., a Academy Award winning actor. Uh, love his work. Uh, just been in the game for so long. So he's definitely talented from talent. So I uh, wish him the best of luck. Wish him the best of luck with this PC. Hopefully it rips for him. But I'm out later. And like I said, everybody, please do something you enjoy. Do it every day. We're all looking for validation. Go get you some. No one's going to give it to you. Go get yourself some. I'm out. Later. Peace.